I'm gonna research. Boop. Ah, yay! We're being recorded. You are. Oh my recorded. gosh! <laughs> Everyone's being recorded. Okay. <clears throat> Previously, on the Misadventures of the Idle Eight, the, uh, the eight found themselves uh, preparing to track an ogre and uh, just looked into the possibilities of maybe setting some traps. While they were in progress of setting traps, they spied a small form slip away into the cold dark and they gave chase followed the tracks that led to other tracks and eventually made their way to a a hills a hillside uh, leading up to what was some very rough utilitarian outpost built into the side of a cliff face. Uh, some, uh, let's call them less than spectacular stealth maneuvers uh, up the hill led to them being spotted by <coughs> someone in the, uh, the guardhouse and that resulted and a heavy crossbow being fired and striking Croesus in the chest. And it was therein that we rolled initiative. And that's where we will pick up tonight. Initiative having been rolled, we are at the top of the turn order, starting with Dalen with a sweet sweet 19 hmm. um i'm assuming when someone was hit with a crossbow bolt they called out and so i would have some idea of what's going on because it's kind of beyond my lit vision well i mean it is dim light so you you can see um, um i do believe that um yes that was rolled that was yelled out because i got healed shortly afterwards. Okay, cool. All right, I move up to here to see what's going on. I still can't quite see what's in that area. And I don't even know if I can actually, Joe, I'm gonna move up a little bit. Well, actually, I don't know if I can see. Should I be able to see what's inside that blue mm. circle? Uh, that blue circle was no, the- No, uh, that is darkness. Yep, that was the uh, darkness that uh, Croesus previewed. Perfect. Okay, all right. Then I'm going to run up and kind of take an assessment here. I can't see what's going on, so I'm just going to use the dodge action, and that is my turn. Okay. Um, I will remove Bradyaga from the turn order, and that means Croesus, you are. Why up. have you removed Bradyaga from the turn order? Because I'm an idiot. Okay, cool. Um, just want to make sure. <laughs> or just, I mean, uh, how many people... If, if, if you're advancing the TPK without us noticing, I mean... <laughs> yeah, you got to be more subtle than that. <laughs> right. And we're just going to remove Rod Yaga from the tournament. Um, no, Rod Yaga just died, guys. Just right. Right. Okay. Thank you for uh, joining yeah. Have a wonderful can afternoon. You, uh, right. Can you, um, can you uh, re redo your initiative and I will fix it? Okay. Roll a I percentile. Think I was, oh, look, it was an aneurysm. Yeah, I was at <laughs> 17 point, well, 17.18, because it's always point your dexterity score. Yeah, yeah. Right. So that should put me back in the turn order. I'll take the 22, though, if you'd like. To compensate me for uh, <laughs> right for your damages, unceremoniously removing me from the turn order. Alrighty, my 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 Apollo. I don't know why I was like, ah, Brad Yaga is not here. I, I, no, I'm not I mean, thinking about yeah. Rook. Alrighty, all right. It's Brad all Yaga, good. You were up. All right. Uh, so you're going to have to adjudicate exactly how this works. Who takes his turn immediately after me? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to do anything with my turn except hide. 
uh, but and use my bonus action to command him to creep around in this general direction. Okay. Uh, but I want to move with him by keeping my hand on him so I can follow him. Okay. Um, I mean, move him so, where you want him to go and then kind of uh, move yourself along with him. All right. So that's a self uh, check for me. That is also going to move me, BT yep. Jones. I know. That's so I'm with you. Okay. Oh, fuck. Hoots just like hooting, probably. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, he, but Hoot is alarmed. Croesus just went down, man. Well, Nonetheless, I, 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 I he didn't I mean, go down. The the thing he is, hurt. you you're pretty sure you've been spotted, and not really sure what kind of hiding you're going to do. But well, uh, the thing is, there's. I think the people who have spotted me are currently inside a darkness spell. This is true. This is true. So I assume if I hide myself well and move. Right. That that maybe you have learned how uh, not to be seen. Yeah. Or at least they won't know where I've moved. Sorry, I moved Hoot 40 feet, but I can't move with him 40 feet, so I backed him up 10 feet. Fair enough. Joe, from where I'm standing, because it's kind of hard to tell from the roll 20 uh, dashboard there, or the the battle map there can i well no never mind i know i cannot see the arrow slits because they are enshrouded in darkness right now well not only that but uh but your your vision doesn't go out that far so How far yeah, i mean vision, you sir? see you starting at that little uh that little blue line you <laughs> see a patch of even more darkness my, my light technically should reach the wall except the darkness spell would be blocking my light correct all right all right, so if it's not clear, that's the end of my turn. All right. Uh, Joe, just in case, because I was a part of that, I rolled stealth. So me and Hoot are not very stealthy. Me and Hoot are just like, bah, 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 bah. I want to know what phone and internet service Robert is using because his movement has actually looked amazingly good this entire time. Right, no doubt. <laughs> um, this is AT&T on right. an iPhone X. Wow. All right. Well, speaking of not even five G. Right. Speaking of Croesus, you are um you are you are up. Okay. So real quick, I would need some assistance from the group. If someone can look up the range on Dragon Breath for me, I want to make sure it's not a touch spell. Dragon uh, breath or breath weapon? Yes. Dragon breath, not breath weapon. Oh, the spell? Yeah. Uh, the spell. I think it is touch, but let me check. Touch. Dragon's breath. Yeah, you have to touch somebody. And imbue it with the power to spew magical energy. Okay. And unfortunately, um, you are now all alone. Yeah, I know. I was hoping to like cast this on one of you guys on like Hoot or on you before you guys uh, absconded. Um, okay, Did so Dragon's me, breath. My phone sideways. This? Why am I not able to? Dragon's Breath is a spell that basically turns someone into a cannon. Uh, you can get to where we are currently. Yes, I can get to where you are currently, and I think I can still get to the uh, to one of the um, holes. So I have zoomed in on the map from what I can see, and it looks like I can get to get to you guys. Let's see, five, ten. 15, 20, 25. Um, okay, so if you're looking at Broad Yaga, so mm -hmm. yeah, from that spot forward, how many spots, how much room is it until the, uh, to 15, the bunker? 15, 15 feet. 15 feet, okay. So I could give Broad Yaga this breath weapon, but that's not the best idea. Well, um, if you were standing directly in front of Broad, you could hit hoot or tax because right they're... that's my plan um okay so then from what i can see a uh, joe because i can see through my darkness um mm -hmm. it, does it appear as if if i was standing in front of where broad yaga is would i have a clear straight line of sight into um one of the uh arrow ramparts 
like the little holes that are there? Could I see one? Uh, I mean, you could yeah. certainly try. Yes. Okay. Well, so that's what I'm Rod's going to do. Rod's going to give you a thumbs up. I'm going to, looking at the map, I'm going to move in front of Rod Yaga. Uh huh. Joe, if you give me control of his uh, character, I can move him around. Not dying, small man. Uh, 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 controlled uh, by, determined by character settings. Um, may, may, maybe I should move him. To oh yeah, yeah, that's that's what that works as well. We do it right there. That's fine. Yep. Okay, so right there. Um, now. Uh, I'm going to twin cast Dragon's Breath. Mm -hmm. um, it is a bonus action. I'm okay. going to touch it on to myself. And then also, do you want Hooter tax? That's the question. Um, hmm. Okay, well, what? so strategically, the answer involves this question. Tax, what can you do with a bonus action? Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, it's Dragon's an action. Breath gives you an action. Right. It's an no. action. So I just... Um, I'm going to give it on Hoot because... Yeah, I was be about to say, narratively, I believe Hoot is also the best answer because you know Hoot. And though you've known yes. me the last couple days... This is true. All right. So we're, gonna, we're going to give Hoot uh, Dragon Breath. It's going to be fire. Um because that is thematically the way Croesus is feeling. Um, That's my hell then, of a holler. <laughs> uh, yes, exactly. So now um, I'm going to move the last five feet of my movement forward five feet. And then Joe, I'm going to use my breath weapon, not the dragon's breath ability because my breath weapon is a straight line and I'm going to shoot it straight. Now that I'm in the darkness, I'm going to shoot it straight into one of the arrow portholes directly in front of me. You, and just, you, you do that. Is that a, that is uh, what is the, what, what it's a deck save? <laughs> yeah, it's a deck save. I believe the DC is 13. Um, unfortunately, I don't have my sheet in front of me at the moment. Well, if you give me a second, I can get it. D and D beyond character sheets. Well, I made a uh, roll of fifteen for that, so. Recommended digital stimulation for God. My gizmo. This way. Um. Okay. I'm on my character sheet. Give me a second, because it's mobile. And I gotta like find where it is now. I'm sorry, Skills. I don't know why I wasn't sitting at my table, but I I can also bring up your character sheet. Um, it is a deck save DC twelve at the moment, and it's one d ten fire damage. Alrighty, and well somebody <clears throat> somebody roll one d ten. He he made the the DC fifty okay. he rolled a fifteen, so that's nine. Half of that is four point five, so four points. Yeah. That's uh, that's down. solid. Thanks for rolling the nine. You're welcome. Um, and then, then uh, Croesus is basically just, well, he just did that, and you just hear what happened. Um, and uh, that's what Croesus did. That's what so, Croesus did. All right, you he hear should, a, uh, you 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 hear a uh, scream in the pains. Uh, from someone inside that uh, that blockhouse, and they they were not super happy. You know, all's fair, right? You shoot me with an arrow. I'm now coming straight for you. Right? No. All right, well, let's hope for the best. I'm absolutely, in and hopefully that gives me some defense. <clears throat> right on. Right on. All right. Uh, I should be five feet in front of where I'm at, according to the map. You should be five. I did feet. move five feet up. Yeah, I move. I finished my movement um, of thirty you feet. You are five feet, according to me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then it's the just whatever video is being shared to the Zoom that needs to be updated. Right. All right. Is that that's your fine? Turn? Cool. Cool. <clears throat> is that is that uh, is that you? Yes, that is the end of my turn. <clears throat> All right, Sistan 
song sayer you are up so that the parapet or or arrow slits are now in a shrouded in darkness, shrouded in darkness. and so any attack against it would be at disadvantage would that be correct mm -hmm. worse because you don't even really know what you're shooting towards well what would it what would it well, I, I heard a scream. Yeah. I guess is, is what I what I heard. So is that double disadvantage? I don't know. Well, it's, it's uh, no, the, the, the scream should allow you to select a target effectively, but you would still have disadvantage for not being able to see that. Uh, you'd, you'd have disadvantage and you would also be at uh, considering they have at least half cover, which is what minus four. Uh, now, half cover, they get a plus two to their AC. So effectively, she has a minus two, but. Right. OK, so plus two to AC. So so yeah, go ahead. Take your shot. Hit me with your best shot. All right. I'm, I'm getting advice from the peanut gallery here. Uh-huh. Uh, and I'm looking, I, I, I do have a ranged spell attack, but. I think it is better to to go up. So I will follow my friend, uh, the D guy name. I can't remember. It's just, uh, and are you a willing creature? Yeah, I know uh, what you're guessing, but usually. All right. <laughs> I will. I will approach. I'm sorry, Allie. <laughs> <laughs> That's consent. <laughs> I asked, and uh, you now have uh, guidance on ability checks. Ooh. You, will, you can roll the d4 when it comes time. Cool, cool, cool. And if I drop concentration, I will let you know. Thank you. And I, too, let's see, that would be my, my action. And I believe that's it for me. I don't have very many. No, I'm good. Okie dokie. Uh, well, we'll advance the turn order and uh, make a hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. There is uh there is that. And now we move up here. Dum 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 dum. Um let's see here. Right. Are up. Tax. Yes. It's all you. Oh, my apologies. I thought it was someone else. I was reading up on a spell. Uh, quick question, Joe. Mm -hmm. Within 60 feet, is there a rock or boulder or large? thing that is uh, within 60 feet of me Jeez. one to five pounds so let's say at least five pounds yeah yeah easily within 60 feet of you yeah there's there's one right right there these look like suitable sized rocks mm -hmm. Excellent. i don't know what you're trying to do with them but uh yeah that let's do these mm -hmm. okay okay so that isn't being worn or carried. The object flies straight line up to 90 feet in the direction you choose before falling to the ground. Catapult. Um, it's a lovely spell. Yeah. That's close. So tell me, can you tell me a little bit more? Because I know you said there was the um, arrow slits in the building before me, but how, how tall is it? How tall is the building itself? Yeah. Um, kind of, kind of squat, I would say maybe 
maybe um, it, it, it's maybe six or six to eight feet tall. It's not super big. Okay. Well, we're going, we're going to, we're going to see, we're going to see, I'm just going to see what catapult does. I am not getting off of hoot yet. I probably should, but I'm going to try this catapult thing real quick. Okay. Um, so I am going to get, we'll say one of these, right? Sure. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm going to do like, I'm going to try to do a whipper, whipper whip where I like pick one that is far away from me up and then like shoot it forward. Cause I want to get, I mean, technically this is all narrative. The spell's going to do what the spell's going to do, but I want you to like understand that to in Tax's heart, she's doing a really cool thing. She's like building a catapult with magic to take down this place. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Away we go. Which direction? You should draw a line of which direction you want it to go. Okay. So what she's going to do, because she did see it before darkness was cast, but she was over here. So she is probably going to try to do it at one of the windows she saw. So she was over here. She saw it. Yeah, she's probably going to go for like this. I realize that that is a bad. Kind of that way. Yeah, like she's trying to try to get it either in between or, oh, I just did something wrong. Um, I deleted myself again. I hate it when I delete myself when I'm just trying to delete the lines I drew. You're not supposed to help the TPK. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she is trying to get it either inside one of the things that she uh, saw earlier and or in between to try to knock a hole in it. You're going to try and knock a hole in it? All right, do it. Yeah. I like it. Uh, I did it. I did it. I rolled it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And it says uh, 16 bludgeoning damage. So it's interesting. It's a dexterity save for the building. For the buildings, building. don't, yeah, the, buildings don't get dexterity saves. Yeah, no, no they don't. It, she is trying to find the most architecturally weak point, which to her is the thing in between the slits and or the slits. Sure, sure. So okay. the 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 stone kind of, you know, as as your mind reaches out and you take control of the stone, it it lifts up, kind of quivers for a second, rotates around, and then slams into the into the building making a you know hitting right into right in the center between the the two walls of the arrow slit and you see like there's there's a cracking of of stone and and material uh it looks like it did a pretty solid hit to um to that uh to that arrow slit but it's All in right. darkness right we don't see that we wouldn't see it, but we could hear it. Yeah, yeah, right. So you, so you see the rock fly into the darkness, and then you hear the collision of rock on rock, and you're like, "Ooh, that <laughs> right. That's that's not load bearing. Um, that's not a load bearing building, is it? <laughs> yeah, right. Um, tax, you need to um, uh, add yourself back into the dexterity. Oh, I don't remember my number. Does anybody? Uh, it was more than 4.11. I can tell you that much. Pretty yeah. sure it was a six, maybe? Sure. Four. That sounds good. Yeah, anywhere between five, six, and seven is not going to change the effect. Yeah, it's not going to change anything. So. And then uh, I need to roll initiative. All I right. Clicked I'll, on just, me. I'll just make it a six. Ruby. And then it is Holler's turn. Um, I sent I sent a token map, um, but what he is going to do is he is going to try to fly into the darkness, into the darkness, and uh, see if he can find Croesus. Um. Oh. 
Okay. Because he wants to land on Croesus' spell uh, head. And I think he can cast a spell. I think he can, if it's a touching spell, even though I've already done my action, he has an action. So he's like a spell in, in the chamber. The homunculus has dark vision, so it can definitely find Croesus. Sweet. Dark, can well, dark, there's dark, there's magical... dark vision. Dark vision doesn't help you in magical darkness. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Croesus Devil is... side does, but. but... Right. I, I forgot that Croesus actually stepped into his darkness. Yeah. Yes, I mean you can uh, you can make a perception check. Okay, so let me. I very much did step up. in the darkness. <sighs> Some of you. But the homunculus, the, the homunculus would have seen the point at which he stepped into the darkness. This right. It, it, it's it's not going to be a very high number for him to find. Uh, attunement. Where is my? Since this isn't full screen, I'm not seeing my my little dude. Do you know what sub menu he's on? Oh, he's in extras. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Quick, quick question, quick question. Can he actually have a spell in the chamber or do you cast a spell through him? Because that's how a familiar usually works and I assume this is like a familiar. Oh, this is true. Um, let me double check. Okay. Because again, this is all very new to me. But oh, yeah. let's get uh, a perception check. Yeah, if he's going to cast a spell, you have to use your action to cast it. He uses okay. his reaction to deliver it to someone he can touch, but you have to cast the spell, which means you have to use your action or bonus action to cast it. Okay, so that is what he's going to he's going to hang around uh Croesus. That he is he is ready for okay. the next thing. That's actually really cool. A remote touch spell ability. Don't we, um, <laughs> don't we have a uh, a little uh we did. I don't know where it went. I just sent a secondary um token in yeah, the D D group. But um because I don't see him in the little token journal place. The journal. Huh. Yeah, I'm um, I'm looking there for the thing. Uh, did you just send another one? All right, there yeah. we go. All right, stand by. I made it, everybody. Yay! On. Yay! Hey, uh, Robert, I don't know if you heard it, but you have a Croesus on you. Like, uh, not you are Croesus. I have the homunculus. You have, yeah, you have a holler upon you. That is cool. You have a holler on your back, girl. We'll see if uh, Croesus freaks out about having something abnormal. Although he'll be able to see it, so it'll be fine. Yeah. Ooh, healing hands. You can read dead screen. You're sharing your um. Yeah, there you go. Am I not sharing just the one thing? You were also sharing. You were reading healing hands, and we saw that as well. Oh. We can still see it. So, anytime. People hear healing hands. Do y'all think of one of the last scenes in Dirty Dancing? Because I do. <laughs> Just share that. So I'm sharing the map now. If I go to mm -hmm. here, are you still seeing the map? No. Uh, nope. Nope. Well, that is I feel like you're sharing because you can do window and you can do screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you and drag I, your roll twenty where it is by itself in its own window, that would probably. That's exactly what I'm doing. I have only, oh, that's the only thing on that one thing. Um, load it up in a different browser. It is? He did. Oh, the map is in a different browser than the, your other yep. Chrome tabs? Yeah. So this is the, this is one tab. It's full screen. What browser? Of 11. Okay, Lisa, you should have a controllable holler token. What kind of vision does it have? So can you tell me dark what vision. 60 foot. Yeah. 60 feet of the dark and the visions. Mm -hmm. Where is his little token? Because I'm looking, do I, I might not have to okay. refresh no, no. maybe? He's literally right here. No, no, no. Oh. Oh. The screen. I was looking for oh. him in the journals. So oh. he would He is in your journal, it. but uh, for the time being, that is also where he is. Okay. I can't click on him. Boo hiss. Okay, we'll figure it out. Thank you. You absolutely 
Um, controlled by, there we go. All right, there you go. You should be able to see if you can control him now. I'm clicking on him and I'm not able to click on him. Are you in the select tool and not the ruler tool? I am indeed in the select tool. Because I can ping them, but I can't click on them. Try, try reloading because he... Yeah. Absolutely controlled by Bella Tass. Reload this page. I don't know why that would make a difference. Joe, while we're waiting, I'm going to ask a, a question. Uh, on me. So, do I think I could stab through the um, uh, arrow slits with a great sword? Oh yeah, absolutely. Cool. And second question: If I do, we have any idea? Because we might not on whether or not this side is the entrance or this side is the entrance. Uh, you really don't know? Okay, cool. You haven't seen- We know seen, Tax is about to make an entrance. You haven't seen a door, so. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, I am still not able to click on him and move him, but we can worry about that later. Just know that he's on Croesus. Oh, well, try now. Uh, I, I just moved the map. I think you gave me power to do something else, my friend. No. Never seen this before. It's like dynamic lighting. It's like a blue outline and stuff. No, oh, for right. fuck's sake. Um, no. No? Oh, God. It just did it and then it stopped doing it. No, it didn't stop doing it. You, you were looking at my map because I like looking at it. All right. Try it now, Lisa. I can move him and I still have dynamic lighting capability to see all the things I am sure you don't want me to see. So I'm going to try to move it where I can't see anything. No, he has night vision. So. Oh, no, 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 not him. Like me. There's a new thing on the screen that I could move it around and see all of the map that I shouldn't be able to see. Well, that's neat. Okay, I'm I'm not sure what's happening. Um, I, Don't okay. worry. I will, somebody I, is on the wrong layer. That's what somebody is. Is it because she got deleted and came back? No, shouldn't be. Being on the wrong layer is like the number one cause of Roll20 DM aggravations. We should totally have a drinking game. Um. All right, hang on. I'm going to move you. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going Oh, it's to... not me. It's like a completely separate thing. That it has nothing to do with me and or Hoot. It's something else that I can select and move it around and it changes wow. light and everything. It's like a what do you want? true dotted line. Okay, I see the blue dotted line. I'm not really oh, sure oh, why oh, you're oh, able to oh, manipulate oh, the blue dotted yeah, line. Right. Okay. I'm not even sure what the blue dotted line represents. Oh, you know I do too. I'm going to move it away from hang everything. Hang on, hang on. I see. Okay. Robert. Yes. Do you have two monitors? There we go. That that should be. Uh, I'm yes. Really definitely. not sure. Can you open up the battle map in a second monitor and share that screen because I, for some reason, At, not he says, stop moving shit. Okay, sorry. I'm on it. Thank you. Now you shouldn't be able to move shit. Cut that shit out. Uh, now I can't see anything. <laughs> it's okay. We're just going to move right along. How are you not able to? God damn it. Okay, hang on a second. Okay. Hang on.
What now, the yeah, actual yeah. mother fuck? Oh. Everything's perfect now. <sighs> okay, hang on. Let's get Hoot back over there. Okay, now you should be able to see everything. Now you should be able to move everything. Now you should be like somewhat good to go. Indeed I am. Okay. Is that the end of your turn? Yes. Beautiful. Okay. All right, how's it look, everybody? Looks good there, buddy. Oh, uh, it looks so good. That's what I want everyone to say every time. I'll say it every time, just for you. I just realized your name is Pinko Scum. That is my name. Got a problem with it, capitalist pig dog? Uh, and I'm not sure you have to be a capitalist pig dog in order to have issue with the name. Not that I do have an issue with the name. <laughs> Who's in up down Main Street? Do do. My fan feeling good. Just an octopus in your neighborhood. I do have the Magic School Bus theme song stuck in my head. Why do you ask? <laughs> okay, Dolph, you. My turn? Are up. Yes, indeed. Cool. Uh, Dolph is going to let out a battle cry. Ooh. And you see reality kind of ripple around them. Like uh, when you're staring at something like on the road and it's really hot. And for a second, you swear it opens up and you can see the Feywild for just like a split second. And now, whenever a, uh, a creature hits you with an attack roll before your rage ends, that creature takes 1d6 force damage. So... Nice. And Alpha's going to move to... Not whenever a creature hits, but hits you. Yeah. Okay, because that's... Um, <laughs> and I'm going to try to attack... Uh, through the through this thing, I can't see, but I'm going to try and do attack through the little slit slit there. How far was that movement? Thirty feet exactly. I had already uh, mapped it out and had okay. the map ahead of time. Cool. Kind of feel the wall from the hole. Yeah. Oh, hole. <laughs> Ooh. Twenty two to hit. Nice. And I should say I'm, I am going reckless, and I'm raging. Right. Um. You. 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 You perform a textbook perfect swing of a great sword um, into the darkness. And luckily you don't seem to hit anything, you know, stone such as a building, uh, but you don't seem to connect with anything else. Hollywood, yeah. it's a 22 or a seven if, if you're in the dark. It would be 22 because I'm going reckless. So that would give me advantage. To my disadvantage. Oh, perfect. Got it. That's why. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. Um, right. Well, and you then... are fairly confident if there were anything there, uh, you would have connected with it. It just doesn't appear like there was a target there. Sounds good. And that is the end of my turn. Thank you. All righty. Back around, Dalen. All right. Dalen's going to make a run. First to about here, 30 feet. Uh, still just see a big black circle, but I do see my friends. I'm gonna move around five, 10. All right, I'm gonna get to here. Okay. Now I see an opening, but I don't see, and, and it, that is outside the darkness, correct? Uh, let me see. Um, that is actually outside the darkness. You you do see <clears throat> you do see in there because of your light spell, but you just don't really see much of anything interesting. All right, very good. I went one too many, too many, but I can still see the spot. But I went one too many uh, squares. 
All right, that is that was my action to to dash, I guess. So that is my uh, that is my turn. All righty, Brajaga, you are up. Croesus, you're on deck. Did we lose Broad Yaga? Yeah, looks like it. Oh, uh, let's see the. Uh, nothing in chat. Um. Maybe I wasn't jumping the gun when I uh, removed him from the turn order. Maybe not. Yeah. I, I, was I feel like it was like his internet or something because he was in this. Yeah, he was. Um, yeah, he tell you was. what, we will, we will, we will come back to him. Um, in the meantime, Croesus, you're up. Cool, Croesus. We're gonna test up having two maps open at the same time. I was going to walk up to here uh, to the uh, slit. Yes. Uh, he's going to peer inside. Mm -hmm. You can see through your own darkness, correct? Yes. Okay. You see, uh, you see what looks to be a, for all intents and purposes, it looks like a bald, sort of pallid, gray skinned dwarf. Yeah. Like it looks like for, for like, it looks like he looks very dwarfy, right? You've seen several members of the dwarf race. Yeah. This looks like a dwarf. The most notable difference that you can see is that number one, he is bald completely, although he does have a bushy white beard. Um, but uh, his skin is a is a like a pale gray sort of ashen okay uh, interesting we missed my turn we're, we, we're no. coming back to you as soon as he he does i'll take my turn and then you can take yours yep okay um okay then let me consult my spell table since she's just too far away for the dragon breath um <sighs> da, 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 da. this is is this DC check, or is this just an attack roll? Why can't make a range spell attack? Okay, so that's what that is. Um, all right, well, I definitely want to hit this thing. Well, then you should you should try to hit it. Um, we're going to create a bonfire right where he's standing. <laughs> Light him up for everybody else. I am going to murder you where you stand. <laughs> <laughs> Oop. Not a lot of damage, but uh, is he going to take two or is he going to take one? Uh, what is that? Seven? Uh, it is a dexterity DC 13. So uh, Oh, yeah, sorry. He, hold on. I just realized that Great Bonfire is concentration, and I believe Dragon's Breath is also concentration, so I cannot do that because I'd like to keep Dragon's Breath. I apologize for... Very good. Uh, we're just going to uh, shoot him with a Chaos Bolt instead. All righty. Uh, 20. Okay, well... Why did it roll uh, So that is a total of uh, 10 points of damage there? Um, no. Yeah, let me look at the map because it rolled with advantage, which was weird. Um, it should be 2d8 equals 4 plus 7, so 11. Why are you rolling 2d8? Um, let me go back to the spell. Yeah. It may not be 2d8. I'll get out of the way, Zoom controls. I don't need you. 
please. Zoom takes over your computer. You yeah, when I'm when I'm screen sharing. Okay. Um, when I hit Chaos Bolt, does two d eight plus one d six damage. Beautiful. All right. So Thanks. looks like um, uh, the two plus four there, and then um, oh, there it is. Well. Uh, so 11. We'll just go with 11. How's that? Yes, that's fine. That's fine. We'll just go with 11 and we'll, we'll call it 11. All right. The chaos bolt screams forth from your scaly fingertips and it looks like it, uh, you, you definitely hit that, that. Creature. And I need to figure out what damage it does. It does force damage. Okay. Well, it does, uh, a bunch of force damage. It does 11 points worth of force damage. Yep. Cool. Yep. All right. That seems like um, some pretty good force damage. Does the dwarf make any visceral change or reaction? I mean, other than uh, a reaction and a kind of a... Sure. Ugh. Cool. All right. Uh, I am then going to move... Oh, that's the uh, measuring thing. Let's see, I've moved five feet, 10, 15. We'll move there to the edge. Well, yeah, to the edge of the darkness. Um, and I will kind of yell out, there's only, or let me get in character, hold on. There's only one inside. There are two wolves inside you, right? <laughs> This this is still legal in four states. <laughs> <laughs> and DC, by the way. Mm -hmm. All righty, is that all you got, Chris? Oh, uh, that'll be the end of my turn. Yes. All righty, uh, swinging back to Broad Yaga. All right, so we're in dim light, right? You are in dim light. Yes. All right, so he just gets a plus two to his armor class. Uh, I'm going to shoot that dwarf. Can you see him? If we're in darkness. dim light, I can. You're in dim light, but he's still in dark. He's in. He's still in magical darkness. He's still I thought, behind. Magical I thought darkness. the dwarf was right here. I know uh, that's that's Don's character. Oh, uh, don't shoot that guy, please. I want to shoot that guy. It'll be I so mean, much fun. You can, if you wish. I'm not going to stop you. I believe he is out of the magical darkness because I can see the magical darkness circle, and he's not in it. No, but well, he, right, he but he's on the other side of it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah that's true. Get around the magical darkness. <laughs> so you just have to step around, and you'll hopefully be able to see him. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. I'm going to hide, uh, and I'm going to use my bonus action to tell uh, who to move along, and I will follow along with him. All righty. Where do you wish who so to So he go? will do 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Hoot will go there, 30 Alrighty. feet. And I will follow along with him. And mm -hmm. if tax is still yep. there. And you know what? Fuck it. Uh, there's no reason not to. Uh, when I tell, well, no, there is a reason not to, because we're hiding. So yeah, we'll just uh, <laughs> that will kind of we'll give just, it away. We'll just continue being stealthy. And here is a stealth check for Mr. Hoot. He is not as stealthy as me. He continues to be a problem. He continues to be less than stealthy. Me and okay, Hoot yep. are aligned, though. Me and Hoot are like what? Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. You're on him. All right. All right um let's see that means is that is that your turn Pradyaga? yeah that's All it right. for me and the hootster right Sistin song sayer all right i think i'm gonna move to you know at least die with my party. i mean be with my party right uh, right yeah 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 mm -hmm. <laughs> and so i think i can move to there and 
looking at what I can do, I think I will uh, take the dodge action and leave it at that since I cannot see nor uh, I have concentration on somebody already for guidance. Okay. All righty. Is, uh, is, that, is that what you're doing? That's what I'm doing. That's dodging. what you're doing. I'm dodging. You're dodging. Very dodgy. Very I'm dodgy. Dodging. Very good. Okay. Uh, so then those of you who can see inside this, see the the uh, the the ashen fleshed dwarf uh, haul up a large heavy crossbow, and uh, he's going to take a shot randomly at the people he can see. Um, that's going to be tax. So. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I mean, feel free to do your thing. I need to, I'm going to announce my intention. I have to read about shield before I say, so if it's like, you need to tell me this beforehand, give me one second. I need to read it just to make sure it's magical or weapon. It'll work for either one. It just raises your armor class by five. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And shield is cast in reaction to an attack against you. Yeah. Okay. Right, and you 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 don't get to know the number. Tell me what your resultant AC would be. But it does say when you are hit by an attack, so she's going to know if she got hit or not. Oh yeah, so yeah, let's do that first. Okay, what is um, your what is your AC normally? My AC would be thirteen with the plus five. It would be eighteen. Okay, so you you feel you you are hit by a heavy crossbow bolt and you you but you throw the shield up and uh, there's a a flash of of magical energy as you deflect it away all righty happy when a successful shield is cast <laughs> yes absolutely <coughs> And that okay, AC and then, bonus uh, and then lasts you see, until uh, your turn. Right, okay. and uh, you see this, uh, those of you who can see inside, see the ashen-skinned dwarf open what looks like a trap door in the floor, and he climbs down into the floor. And then some other things happen. Mm, other things. Process is the darkness spell you cast also concentration? Probably. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Jeez, okay. I'm pretty <laughs> sure I'm the sorcerer. <laughs> Jesus. He started, uh, yes. He started darkness this is a concentration spell. So, uh... <laughs> so since I don't think you. You've actually, any one of y'all have actually used Dragon Breath. Do you want to say Dragon Breath is the spell you didn't cast, or do you want to say Darkness Spell a long time ago? All right. Tax, it is. I um, guess it's Dragon's Breath, right? <laughs> it is your turn. You are up. Um, All right. Well, there goes that idea. We haven't seen, <laughs> like, we haven't seen a door or anything, right? There's no door. No, there, there. The, you, you see. You should be able to see a pair of uh, pair of doors into the outpost there. Okay. Um. Neither do I. Yeah. Right. But there's, but there's no there's no doors in the thing that we are in, right? You haven't seen any. Okay. All you see is, uh, you know, kind of a, a a blank stone wall with arrow slits. At least as as at least what you have seen. Uh, I will say, Brodyaga, there's a door, and I will tell him precisely where it is. Which Brodyaga, 
tax is going to be precise and I'm pinging it right now. Can you see where I'm pinging? I see where you ping, young, tiny person. I was like, <laughs> that's the door. They've, he's just went down into a, like a cellar. I believe reinforcements are coming. This is not safe. Shall we run? Shall we what? Shall, shall we run? Shall we run to the door? Because that makes the most logical sense. Because if we're here, we're sitting ducks because they can come in here. Now, if we break into here and so like, and then she will blather on. Nothing is safe, child. Yes, but wouldn't going through the door be the most logical answer at this point? No, it wouldn't. Okay. Um, then Tax is going to throw a firebolt, and she is, again, trying to take down the structure because there is no longer people inside. And she will try to put it uh, where she landed the uh, previous catapult. She's going to try and uh, hit, the, hit, the, hit the bunker again. Hit the bunker, but this time with firebolt. Okay, you do that. And it's the same spot she's trying to get it down. She's trying to make it where they could go in. Let's let's be very clear. She's not trying to take down the building. She's trying to make the slits have a hole between them so the party can get in. Okay, well, you definitely do hit the stone with the magical fire and it uh you're 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 shooting at a different place than you were the first time same place um you can't see the same place oh you're right so i would have okay i would have gotten down and moved i do apologize because i would want to um I'm trying to take the building down. And for some reason, now I'm moving the whole damn screen and not just tax. Black tool. There we go. So that's five, 10, 15, <coughs> 20. So from here, actually from here, I should be able to see both sides and oh, get to where there's, I was. There's still darkness. <laughs> But I cast it through the darkness the last time, right? So I am just doing <coughs> area. All right. Roll another attack roll because right. you are at disadvantage. Yeah, you are you are highly confident that um, you you saw the flash of of the firebolt enter the cloud of darkness, and uh, you think maybe it hit something. You're not sure. Okay. Okay, what else? Um, Holler is going to stay with Croesus, and that's where we are. Actually, how, how big did you say those sl slits are? Uh, they're about a foot wide. About a week back. Um, give me two seconds. I want to see. I know. I know he's not strong. Um. Yeah, you said no one's in there. I'm gonna have a holler fly in through one of those holes. Okay. Okay. So. And can you? You can't see through Holler's eyes, though, right? No, but Holler can speak common. So he would be able to essentially say what he sees and he can go outside of the magical darkness too. Okay, well, he sees a stone-walled room, very utilitarian, uh, just, just outside the uh, circle of magical darkness. There is a trap door in the floor. Uh, you do see arrow slits around the... Uh, west, south, and partially on the south uh, east of this hexagonal shaped room. 
octagonal, 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 the octagonal room, uh, you do not see a door. Okay. And he, that's that's what he relays back to you. Yeah, because that's essentially what he's doing. He's flying in, getting the lay of the land, and then come back. But I don't think he could come back. Come back now. I mean, he can yell it to you, Lisa. Yeah. Lisa, just because I don't I don't know for sure, can he understand common or can he speak common? He both. Okay. He understands. He speaks and understands everything that I do. So that's common and dwarvish. So okay. he's uh, he's our sights on the inside, and he would be calling out in his little holler voice, which is probably like very, not not even um, like current Alexa or Siri, but like oh. very robotic um, because I haven't figured out his like voice programming yet. So he's probably along the lines of like uh, the fir the first. Um, uh all your bases belong to us boys uh it understands your languages it does not speak any so you guys hear a groaning of uh -oh. metal on stone as the large doors inset into the cliff face uh, open and if you're able to see that far which I don't know that any of you are you're right it doesn't well then how am I supposed to thank you <clears throat> I mean with, uh, with the dim lighting you're able to see that you see another one of these uh dwarvish creatures those of you who are close enough to see you see another one of these dwarvish creatures open that door and then kind of uh bounce up out of the way and then some, uh, oh. And uh, yeah, Dolph. Can you um, force ping where the door opened? Or where we'd hear it, maybe? How does the, yeah. uh, how does the, how do you force ping? Is it a control? It's either shift, shift hold or control hold or something like that. No. All right. Okay. Yep. So. Um, on the map, I can see that. Is that because there's dim light in here? Mm -hmm. Well, there's dim light everywhere. You're you're in dim light, and there is in fact a lightning storm still going on. So, but outside, uh, right? Well, I mean, you're outside. Oh, well, I thought we entered a cave of some kind. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nope, you're still on a hillside. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so I'm gonna lose my rage if I don't don't do this so i'm going to attack the building um, attack the... actually <laughs> actually uh you see if you can see dalf which i think only croesus can at this point dalf's skin is getting brighter and brighter and are they glowing and poof bright light for 10 feet around them uh, goes goes into radiant consumption. Uh, dim light for an extra 20 feet. And um, yeah. Oh, Mike dispel the darkness. If it's uh, magical light. What? Is... Um, let's see. The light cantrip, I, have... I do not believe will. So I'm not sure about her Not thing. the light cantrip. Um, not the light the cantrip. The light cantrip no. won't do it, so. Um, and then... Oh, I don't want to end within 10. One second. Let me adjust myself so I can, so I have a radius because I need to show that I have a 
Brady. So sorry. if the spell's area overlaps with an area of light created by a spell of second level or lower, that spell created with the light is dispelled. It's not a spell. Cool. That's good. I wouldn't want to snuff out your light before you even got it. Um, I'm going to move over to here, right away from people because I don't want to hurt anybody. And if, Joe, if there's anybody within 10 feet of me, which you'll see a um, aura of, they take two points of radiant damage. Okay. Uh, within an in 10 foot radius. If that, if that happens to be the case, and I take one point of damage, so I keep my rage. So you are emitting 10 <laughs> feet of bright light distance, correct? 10 feet of bright light, 20 feet of dim light. Okay. And that is the end of my turn. I'm going to make sure. Yeah, I, yeah, that's the end of my turn. Cool. Okay. Very cool. Knowing we have a portable flashlight. All right. Okay. Uh, radioactive. Um, so. <laughs> yeah. You're like the opposite of Krosis right now. A, um, a new contestant enters the arena I've already gotten there oh. it is not that zombie somewhere huh. I this woman is screaming all right Oh, yeah, because an do. ogre has layers, and now that it's a zombie, you can see most of them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's gross, dude. Well, zombies aren't the opposite of gross. <laughs> That's for sure. True doubt. Okay, and then. Um... <laughs> didn't like water okay and then uh that is uh that's all it's doing Dale. if any of you can see you see a vaguely ogre like shape come come sort of running out of the door Not exactly an initiative order, but I'm yelling and pointing at it for anybody who doesn't see it. <laughs> hey, uh, Dungeon Masters on the call. Hmm? Let us, and this is a question to Jay as well, just to, for clarification. Let's say Laura's character and I were 30 feet back, and I have a light, and we're in darkness, and we want to run together to get to somewhere. And my initiative is 19 and hers is three. Can I hold, it's not using a reaction at that point, but is there a way for us to move in tandem so I don't leave her and then she catches up to me to be left without light and then to come back to light? I don't know if there's technically a way to do that, but I would let you basically, I would let you use your movement, none of your actions, bonus actions, You oh, he froze. Yeah, he did. I was like, this was this is kind of how I was thinking, so I'm hoping he comes back. That pinko scum. Oh, there, there he is. is. He's back. And um, even a You froze uh, in the middle of you saying you could use movement and nothing else, and then we lost God the other half it. of the Senate. <laughs> God damn it. This new computer is a piece of shit, by the way. That's, this is okay. why... I own my own computer and I don't use a work one at home anymore. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, uh, 
my ruling would be the person who goes first in initiative can decide to hold their movement to the latter person's initiative. Okay. Uh, but they couldn't cast spells or do actions or bonus actions. They could only use their movement simultaneously with the latter person's movement. I like that. Yeah. All right. That, that's, that's what I was thinking. And if the latter person wants to fucking dash and the former person hasn't used an action, then they could also use their movement to keep, or they could also dash to keep up. Got it. Okay. So you could hold your action to use dash to move all of them together in tandem. That would be how I would rule it. Yeah. I like that. All right. Thank you. I'm not the DM. That yeah, that, that actually sounds pretty reasonable to me. So I'll allow it. All right. Are we at me? We are. I apologize. I was not, I was just asking a question because I thought you were getting stuff ready. Um, so I have called that there is something coming here on this way. Um, I'm, how much of my movement would it take for me to get up to that next level up kind of to my right? Is it just standard or does it take like twice? It's just no, just, just standard. It, it's a, it's a slope. It's an incline. Okay. okay. It, it's not enough of an incline. Okay. Right. Um, yeah. All right, and then I'm going to cast a firebolt because why not? It's it's the distance is there. It's a long shot, literally, but I'm going to literally. Wow. Where are you hitting? The ogre. Okay. Um, yeah. Incendiary bolt. Right, dim light does not inf incur disadvantage, does it? No, it does not. It just gives a plus two to the armor class of basically everyone. Well, the uh, the 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 the, the, the twenty two seems to be pretty good. So uh, you uh, you you are you you zing your firebolt over there, and and uh, oddly enough, it doesn't appear like like you hit it. You heard it, but it doesn't seem to be super impressed. All right. Man, that's they're my, resistant uh, to fire. That's my turn. All righty. Frickin' Zambies. Rajaga. Oh, actually, J Joe, at a foot wide, could I slide through the arrow slit into that room? Yeah. Uh, it would require a dexterity check to do it. All right, I'm not gonna do it this round. I just I'm I'm kind of looking in there. This is why architects make things no longer in windows no larger than ten inches because you can the human body for most people can fit through a twelve inch. Window. Nice. Twelve by twelve. Yeah, that is good to know. Yeah. I can't Don't imagine myself fitting that. that wide, but okay. Oh, I do know why. <laughs> why? Because my roommate in college was an architect. Oh, that's major. right. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, why do I know that? Mm -hmm. All right. She was theorizing I would get stuck somewhere breaking in. <laughs> Good. He's 85 feet away. Uh, so I will not be commanding uh, my homeboy with my bonus action. I will be casting Hunter's Mark with my bonus action. Uh, so let me mark that off of my spell sheet. Hold on. Righty. Ooh. Hunter's Mark is gone. I'm casting Hunter's Mark on the fucking ogre. Uh, I am also, if I hit him, I am going to mark him as my favorite foe. That's a 22 to hit. Yeah, you you absolutely do hit him. All so, right. So you favorite. do uh, two. Let's see. Favored uh, foe is two. So you do a total of 10 plus a D6 for 100 mark. Right. Hunter's mark didn't 
proc for some reason. So let me roll Hunter's Mark. Nice. Six more nice. than that. Uh, that's... 16 points of damage. Yeah. And then for my movement... And no, I'll stay here. Uh, but even though I didn't command uh, Hoot to do anything... <laughs> Hoot can still take Hoot's movement. Mm -hmm. So Hoot will move 40 feet closer. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So Hoot has moved to there. Tax, if you're still on Hoot, you have now moved. Tax got down last round. Jay, for, mechanic, for a mechanical question, Sitting yes. in this room, standing in this room with dim light other than me that's holding a bright light, I've imposed advantage or I've imposed a easier to hit me than the ogre who's standing on the other side. Yes, but even though you were easier to hit, I still shot the ogre instead of you. I appreciate that. But mechanically, it would make more sense for me to extinguish the light because there's actually a light in here we could see by. I, well, it's dim light, so yeah. I basically everybody, everybody has a plus two to AC, except me because I'm standing in bright light. Well, that's your fault. But, but, I'm, but I'm right. That's right, right. If he had a ranged weapon, he would have a. I would have a normal AC. The guy on the other side's got a plus two to his. Right. Ooh, yeah. Well, I need to distinguish light as soon as I can. Which is an action. Poop. Okay. Does that make it my turn? That does make it your turn. Cool. Grossus is going to move I'm five, down. ten, and then fifteen here so he can see and he sees hoot and he sees a giant ogre. Okay. That's what everyone is all talking about. And now we can see the big doors and now Croesus actually understands what the heck is happening and realizes this little bunker is pointless. Now that no one's inside, um, we are going to, geez, just shoot this thing. Um, yep, we're going to uh, Chaos Bolt. All right, yeah. Chaos Bolt it up. Cast. Um, let me uh, roll. Why are you rolling like three times? I don't understand why it's doing that. Let me see if I can sort that out. Um, either way, I guess it's 12 to Man, hit. You, you, you do hit it. All right. Um, let me like roll for, dam uh, for the damage type. Um, uh, fire. Damage. Darn, I don't want it to be fire because fire doesn't <laughs> seem all that special. It could have been psychic. Ugh. All right, so that is a total of 14. 14. Yep. All right, plus five for a total of 19 points of damage. Yes. Wow, that's pretty this, good. This spell slaps, man. So, this uh, spell is, slaps. This a, is this a cantrip? No, no, no. This is a first level spell slap. Ah, uh, gotcha. It's like right. their magic missile. Hey, so when you said it didn't seem impressed with the fireball, did you just mean it, it wasn't a lot of damage against it, and so it has a lot of hit points, or like it kind of splattered off of it, like it's resistant to fire? Uh, the former. Okay, okay, that's what I thought, and but I think uh, Robert was was worried too that fire was not effective against, it, but I don't think that's the case. Okay, well then, cool. Um, but then, yeah, there's 19 damage. Fire. Nice. Burn. Um, okay, what were my dice rolls on that? My dice rolls. Oh, actually, um, I rolled two sevens. Something special happens when I roll two of the same dice. Uh, let me read. Let me display this so that for posterity. Okay, so if you roll the same number on both d8s, the chaotic energy leaps from target onto a different creature of your choice within 30 feet of it. There are none. Ah. Oh. Yeah, there are. Oh, wait. I think no. that might be a little bit more than 30 feet. 
No, there is something within 25 feet of it. Okay, then it's going to jump to that. Okay. Uh, and now attack roll. we'll make a new attack roll, uh, which will cause this chaotic energy to leap again. The creature can only be targeted once by each casting of the spell. Okay. Um, cool. So uh, that's cool. Let me uh, roll it again. Okay, this is going to like roll a million die again. 24. Whoa. All right. I assume it stays the same type of energy this time. We just move from one thing to the next. Make a new damage roll, which could cause the chaotic energy to leap again, but it does not. It does not. Okay, just uh, I'm looking at what, 15 points of damage? 15 points of fire damage, yes. All right. <laughs> All for one spell slot, man. This is sweet. <laughs> so, what is the five? Um, it's 2d8 plus 1d6. Wow. Um, and I'm realizing, yes, so the way, okay, you know what, I need to consult my table. The way it's supposed to work is that D6 determines the, the damage, I believe. That's right, okay. Want to hit, so let's see, choose one of the D8s, that rolled number of the die, oh, no, never mind, I get to pick of one of the D8s. All right, well, that was all fire damage. I will actually use my spell correctly next time. Jeez, I'm the worst sorcerer <laughs> in this uh game. The worst, the worst sorcerer. Um, I'm also going to drop concentration on my darkness. So I will remove that here momentarily. I mean, you are the worst sorcerer in this game. But <laughs> for the same reason that I'm the worst ranger in this game. Yeah. Yep. You're also Don, the best one. So. Don's <laughs> the worst wizard in this game. By far. Um, excellent. So that would imply that the damage changes every time this thing gets cast. So yep. um, yeah. that will happen from now on. The spell is sweet. I love it. Okie dokie. Seems good. That's the chaos part. All right. Uh, that will end my... I'm going to get behind you and end my turn. All right. Assistant Songsayer, you are up. I use, you know, 110 of my 120 foot spell <laughs> and cast Guiding Bolt on the ogre. On which one? This this big thing? Yeah, that'll hit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that'll definitely hit. It's a third 22. <laughs> um, yeah, it's 22 is popular tonight. And so uh, that also conveys advantage. And, and he is nice and glowy. He, he is, is nice and glowy. Um, all of you who can see this thing realize that uh, it is like it is definitely an undead zombie ogre. It is not a living ogre. This is a an ogre that long ago ceased to be amongst the members of the living, and now. In its state of undeath, it has been pressed into service by whatever these gray-skinned dwarves are. Okay, who amongst you speaks of the dwarf? I do, I believe, but let me double check. I do. I do. Yes, I do speak the dwarf. Okay. So do I. I understand it better than I speak it. I speak it like Peggy Hill. Uh. Hey, Schnitzel's joining us again. Hey. Aww. Oh, hi, Schnitzel. Um, Harper's looking around. She's like, what? Ellie's mad because she didn't get any of the chips I was eating. I really thought you said Allie. Oh, no, <laughs> I mean, Allie's probably mad, too. They're like some really good organic all-dressed chips from Central Market. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, aren't you fancy? Mm -hmm. That wasn't on me. It's what my bestie brought back, and I was just like, I'll take an all-dressed. All right, Tax, you are up. You guys, uh, oh. you see another one of these uh, small, gray-skinned, dwarvy types come uh come running out the door 
and uh, he kind of he's kind of getting his bearings. Um, you you get the feeling he can see you, like the darkness. He was born in it. Um, I will shout. Let it all out. And I These will... are the things you can do without. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah, I'll say, if you on. pay us, mm-hmm. if you pay us half up front, we'll stop attacking you. My, he's learning. <laughs> you know what? Make a persuasion check. Probably not. With the, hmm. I mean, am I the person to do this? No, but desperately. You're the, you're the person who said it. Right? Yeah. You are the person that said it. So, uh, so, 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 you know, give it a shot. Oh, persuasion. Oh, what did I miss? Right. 18. Hell yeah. Right. I mean, he hears you. He kind of looks over in your uh direction but you you're pretty sure he doesn't understand the word you're saying and we'll say it again in dwarfish okay well he 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 you can you can tell um doop, doop, doop. he like he looks at you and he just kind of shakes his head. Okay. Well, in that case, I do apologize. Um, that man is going to get a firebolt to, I would say, his ass, but instead it'll probably be to the face because he is not showing me his butt just yet. Right. All right. Well, oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's a pretty good fire bolting. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You uh, you you launch your fire bolt at this guy, <coughs> who is kind of looking at you and shaking his head, and their fire bolt <laughs> fire slams into him. It's like ah! that. Uh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Uh, and then I will take a little bit of movement, and I will try to get into the shadow of this. Drifty Mabobber. Yeah. And then I can't see Holler, but I think I've clicked on him and Holler's going to fly out and back down. All righty then. That's fine. Okay. So, um, is that your turn? That is me, and that is Holler. All righty. So you see another one of these these uh, these gray skinned dwarves come out, and he looks like he concentrates for a second, Uh-oh. and then he. He grows into um, he he embiggens. Uh, and, when he uh, yeah, when he does that, I'm um, mm-hmm. shout. I think we found who has the lamp. All right, I like that you're able to put all these pieces together. So does he also look? <laughs> Undead? Are the dwarves that are coming out also undead, or are they all? No, they 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 just they they look like maybe maybe they uh, spent a lot of time, and I do mean a lot of time uh, underground. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, any of you familiar with with uh, you know what, Bradyaga? You and Tax give me history or nature checks. Uh, Croesus, history, right? Uh, Croesus, 
give me um, history. And Dolan, give me history. I got a 20. Okay. I got a seven. I got a 23. Right. Damn. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. Oh, so, showed up by no no. Right. So so broad, you've <laughs> nobody knows. You, you've you've seen you've seen you 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 think you've seen dwarves like this for sure. Can't quite put your finger on it. Uh the rest of you that uh that that but but Dalen, you remember uh hearing of a race of dwarves that um, were trapped or somehow or the other managed to uh, build a living in the Underdark. And they, they had the ability to uh, embiggen and they also had the ability to go invisible. All right. Um, and you know that they are called Jirgar. So I'm calmly, but precisely speaking these facts out, not screaming, but to where my party can hear it. Mm -hmm. That we are encountering a race of dwarves called the Durga. They can obviously make themselves larger, but also some can make themselves go invisible. Be wary. I think I'd like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like it. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, different layers. Ah, oh, you fuck me. All right. Ah. Okay. And uh, seemingly emboldened by the approach of his, well, maybe not emboldened, maybe more like. Um, and big guns. Yeah, more like <laughs> driven. Um, Those of you who speak Dwarven here, uh, the, the, the guy that got, the, the one that's lit up, scream in Dwarven at the ogre zombie, kill them, kill them all. They must not breach inside. And so the ogre zombie uh, fumbles out and uh, he, he, he makes it to, uh, to there. And um, he's, He's, he's not very fast. He's really not. Um, if you have a reach of five feet, that's the target. That's the square adjacent to you, correct? Yes. Correct. Right. All right. So um, he makes it there. And then um, and then he, he pauses for a second and he kind of ponders the existence of Hoot, decides that Hoot might not be the primary thing he should be worried about. And he makes it that far. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Dolph, you are up. My now time to play. The, the price for death is right. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, I Is think you may need to reorder the uh, initiative because Dolph actually should go before the ogre. She's on a three. He's on a two. Is that a thing right yeah, now? Yeah, that is a thing. All right. Well, uh, that stuff that happened happens after, uh, I don't know. I, yeah. Okay. Well, let's just leave it alone for this round. Yeah, leave it alone for this one. And then, uh, we'll, we'll change it if we need to. Dolph. All okay, right, so I'm going to use my action. Oh, one second. It, things change when I get uh, farther along. All right, so 30 feet is. Who uh, drew a blue box? 
Um, I did. Okay. 30 feet from there. So I can't, this is going to be my uh, action to move here as well, but I'm going to get to here and that ogre takes two points of radiant damage. No save, no nothing. And mm -hmm. I take one. Okay. Well, he, uh, he is <sighs> and he, he kind of turns and looks your way as the radiant energy really does not agree with his um, state of undeathness. Just realized we literally have a barbarian who set herself on fire, essentially. Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, just any sane creature, I'd be like, oh, nope, I'm out. This guy clearly wants it more than I do. Or this girl, rather. Well, I do nope, have a nope, beard. That's enough so. for me. Nope. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'll breathe fire, yeah. but F that S. <laughs> that, yeah. All right. Is that your turn? That is my turn. All right. Okay. Then uh, we uh, swing back to Dalen. I'll be right back. I'm going to go fix my dinner plate. Hopefully, I'll be back before my turn. I dash up to next to Hoot, reaching into a component pouch. Casting web, I think right there. Let me check the distance real quick. Oh, I can actually go make this a little bit further this direction. So I'm gonna catch at least those four guys partially in a web. And actually I could probably rotate it. Hang on, let me do it this way. Let me do it like that. And that way I could actually put it about right there. So five feet high anchored on the doorways there. Mm -hmm. And those two biggies is a, just the biggest bounciest house of snotty sticky web stuff that you've ever seen. Right, gross. Okay. You, uh, somewhere Lolith is smiling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is that. She is. Mm -hmm. That is my turn. Uh, movement and action. Beautiful. Rajaga. All right. Let's see. What's going to be fun? All right. I already have this idiot as my favorite, favorite foe. foe. Oh, goodness. I thought you were talking to me. Good Lord. <laughs> yeah. I already have the wizard as my favorite <laughs> foe. I know we don't get along all the time. <laughs> it was that high spell. The guy all right, I'm gonna go feed the dog. Uh, so I will shoot. Uh, he also has Hunter's Mark on him. Oh shit! I didn't have Hunter's Mark check next last time. Oh wait, but I rolled the d6. Never mind. It's all good. Uh, you do have advantage on the attack because he is. I know. I it didn't roll an attack roll at all. That's just. That's all damage. Hold on. Let me try that again. Oops, all damage. Uh, so 14 to hit. If right. I have it back. That, that absolutely uh, does hit. The bright glow uh, that Siston's magic imparted upon it makes it feel like that lets you see it. It's a nice target. You were able to you were able to slam your arrow into it. So that's 13 points of damage. Okay. Uh, and I will use a bonus action to tell Hoot to knock that motherfucker on its ass. So Hoot will move down here. He's not talking about me, is he? Mm -mm. Okay. I mean, I might be. <laughs> so I wondered Hoot, if you would pick that up. He's in the other room. Hoot. Who will make an attack roll against the undead ogre? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Does he have advantage? Uh, he does not. No, the blow the has one. faded. Then he misses completely. Yeah, I don't see Hoot anymore. Where is Hoot? Hoot's right here. Why am I not seeing him? I don't know. I think Hoot is, Hoot right is under Dolph. No, Hoot is right there. I don't see him either. Where I am pinging. 
Okay. That is where Hoot is. Yep. I see you Dolph are, there. You are you are you are sharing space with Dolph. Okay, then I'll move to there instead. There does that there. make it better for y'all? Yeah, it yeah, does. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, Hoot misses entirely that stupid motherfucker. Well, huh. you know, if you've had him going one way, you called him back and he's like, eh? Eh? I don't know why uh, Hoot is like a dog now, but uh, I yeah. know, I have whatever it works. Lol. Yep, and uh, misses just unable to uh, to to, to uh, kind of find his way there. So, um, is that your turn? That is my turn and Hoot's turn. All righty, Croesus, you are up. All right, so Croesus is uh reevaluating the fact that we had one ogre and now we've got a bunch of other giant things so uh what we're going to do is at least make it very easy to uh get this ogre and we're gonna cast well is that what i want to do maybe not <laughs> um i'm going to cast Okay, I'm picking a square. Okay. Right there, that square. If a bonfire were to suddenly be there. No! No. There's web there. Oh, there's web. Oh, that's what that square is. That's okay, what yeah. that square is, yeah. That is, that is the web. <laughs> no, then this makes this really easy. Cast bonfire under the zombie. Thank you. All right, yeah. Under the zombie, we're going to create a bonfire. Okay, dokie. Well, seven damage if they don't make the save. How bad is he looking? You know, it, it it's uh, it's it's kind of hard for you to tell. This uh, spot because, right here. You know, he already looks pretty dead. Yeah. <clears throat> but uh, you know, he definitely has a lot uh, more holes and burned places. I mean, truthfully, he looks a lot more dead than he used to. Got it. Um, I am then going to move. Um, no, actually, um, I like being right here where there's a person in front of me as a shield. Thanks, Rajaga. <laughs> Pay me half up front, and I will continue <laughs> right. to be your shield. I don't want to uh, get pecked with a crossbow again. All right, that's going to be my turn, and I'll oh. be right back as I fix my dinner plate. Okay, Sistan, you are up. All right. I do not like the fact that this guy is undead. I'm just going to put that out there. Really not something that I like. I, I had the feeling that it would not be to your liking. I do, I do not like it. So I am going to move up and um, I'm going to cast Turn Undead, which is a DC, uh, 14. Okay, you present your holy symbol. Wow. Okay, let's see. Each and dead must make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Um, wisdom saving throw, huh? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> bless you. That is, uh, that is. That may be as bad as it can get. I you know? think it's as bad as it can get. Well, no, I mean, oh, technically, no. he could have a negative two. He is right. not he very could roll wise. A negative one. Right. You are. You are. You are highly confident. He's like ah! he throws both his hands up, trying to not see your holy symbol. Well, if anybody would like an attack of opportunity, I'm thinking that he has to run away. Run away. But that's on his turn. Yeah. As fast as it can. Can't willingly move uh, within 30 feet of me. Can't take reactions. For its yeah. yeah. Must spend its yeah. turn trying to move as far away from you as it can and can't willingly move to a space within 30 feet of you. Yeah. Right. Wow. So that's it's... pretty good. You know, in all of our time playing D&D &D together, that is the first time anyone's ever tried to turn undead. Well really? done. Well I done. Thought... Give yourself inspiration. You feel as though you have done something wonderful. 
<laughs> Excellent. Okay. Well, is that uh, is that is that where you're at? That's where I'm at. I'm I'm out in front since I since I see that it worked. I'm actually going to take my last little bit of movement. See the fear dilate the eyes and get even a little bit. Oh closer. wow, that that's just rude. <clears throat> oh yeah. That is absolutely It's kind of like this. Just rude. Rude. Okay, well, this guy all right, here. Um, you know what would be handy is if uh, if I had a way to tell. Yes. Um, Thirty and one twenty. Yes. All righty. I don't know what an embiggen dwarf's movement is, but I'm hoping a normal dwarf's movement or Dwergar's movement is the same as a dwarf's movement. And he's got to cross that stream. That's got to be rough terrain. He's not worried about crossing the stream. He, um, he picks up a javelin oh. and throw, and he has he only has one. He throws it at you, and uh, maybe it's the excitement. Maybe it's uh, you know, maybe he's feeling, <laughs> maybe. you know, maybe he's feeling some kind mm -hmm. of uh, you know performance anxiety after all of his friends have been biggened, and he hasn't. He thought he was going to be swoof, and uh, you hear <laughs> those of you that speak dwarven actually hear this guy. I met a God damn it. <laughs> I mean, I do want to point out that it is extremely appropriate that you said performance anxiety since the Latin eaculum is the source of both the word javelin and the word ejaculate. <laughs> yes, I knew where you were going. <laughs> oh, that's that is the best thing I've heard all day. Well, he after um after his uh rather disappointing uh performance there he kind of runs back out of the way tax you uh, are up i will say loudly in dwarvish if you give us the lamp we'll give you your ogre back Make a persuasion check with disadvantage. Okay. I'll say, we only want the lamp. We will leave. So that's one and that's two. I didn't hear it. I don't second. hear this. There it is. Oh. Yeah, he um the 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 guy that you just yelled it at actually the uh now this is the uh the embiggened one right here. Mm -hmm. You can see, you know he he looks directly at you and he says now that we know you're here you must die. Uh, says, I'm going I'll say, that is unfortunate for us and you. <laughs> <laughs> and then I shall cast a uh, firebolt uh -huh. at that guy. At that guy? Yep. Uh... Your, your firebolt, uh, he just kind of like leans a little bit out of the way and goes right by him. So 15 doesn't hit. Good to know, good to know, good to it know. It does not. All right. Cool, cool, I mean, cool. uh, I mean, technically, these guys are wearing scale mail. They have a shield. And, um, you know, it's also dim light. It, 
you're like, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm used to doing things in the broad daylight and uh, this whole dim light bullshit ain't working out for me. All right. What else? What else? What else? Um, I think Holler <laughs> going to get higher. He's like he's gonna stay in the same ish place, but get higher up. So still around us, like just flying in circles, however you want to do it narr narratively, just flying in circles around the party, but just higher up. But like, so in the case of me saying get give broad yaga heroism or cast resistance on so-and-so he would be able to get to that party member with just diving down essentially however you want to do that narratively and mechanically how would you like that done? fair enough i mean you you can have him you can move him to wherever you think would be a good place for him to be what's his movement uh 30 flying yeah you want to be like you know 15 ish feet from as many people as you can so he can go down and then back up but yeah. really if he had to stay there at the end to get the spell delivered, a full 30 would still work. Yeah. So we'll go like right-ish here. Like it. I right love on. it. More of it. Okay. What else you got? Um, I am going to terrain this and get here and try to get partial cover via by the i guess hexagonal side of right the on right on Where is she? uh dalen what yeah. is the dc on your web the dc on my web is a 13 dexterity saving throw yeah now okay they have to make actually it's a dexterity save, but they have to make a if they are if they fail it, it's a strength check to, to break free. Right. I want to break free. Sorry. And it is uh it is a what? A 16? Same. One three. 13. 13. Okay. Bell attacks, we need a light over there. <laughs> where those guys are do we yes um, Out of fire but a light so this one he he kind of uh he kind of slips out of the out of the uh out of the 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 bondage of the web kind of makes his way forward he will uh and uh he's going to uh he's gonna try doing that whole javelin thing at uh at the guy that's right out front i'm at the very back the front's way off to the east of me once I'm again i sure watch a 12 isn't going to hit though no. yeah no not so much no but i do uh i kind of with my toe kind of kick it over to where the other one is on the ground like i'm stacking them up mm. okay well he's uh that that was the thing that happened <laughs> ting 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 <laughs> I'm going to call this guy Ed for ED. Right? Ooh. <laughs> did he also make his save? He did. Oh. He did and and he is he is also going to give you the pointy end of his javelin. The oculum. Ooh. Mm, does a uh, does it does a 21 hit? yeah it does okay well he's um he he's is embiggened so he does uh he he does a little more damage that javelin sinks into your flesh just <laughs> it does 12 points of javeliny damage i'm what you would call bloodied <laughs> and more so Uh, 
and uh, boop, boop, boop. there's a strength check involved to get out of it if they fail the the other thing yeah yeah so if they fail they can take an action to make a strength check to get out of being restrained okay and the strength check is the same thing right yep yes so dc 13 okay okay strength checks and things yeah he um he kind of looks down at the uh the webs and he just kind of rips them apart and uh Which one's he? This one that just made his way out of the web works. Oh, but there's two more. Oof, you just have to go through it. Oh, I need to make a concentration uh, check. Please make it. Well, I have advantage. Let me roll again. It's only one. And one. you have. Uh, oh, I have a guidance as well. You have guidance. Guidance is not. Oh, okay, well, I made check. it. Okay. okay. The power of web compels them. Um, that is what we got going on right there. Oh no, wait, this guy didn't do it. Yeah, he did. Yep, no, he didn't. All right. He's gonna scamper down right here. And he's going to uh toss a javelin. At didn't the that one. guy throw a javelin earlier? No, not that one. We did this one. We did this one. And we did this one. This guy. Oh, that's right. He 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 got webbed. So he will go ahead and try and break free of his bonds what'd you say is that 13 yep yeah. yeah he uh he rips his way out of it and uh he moves up to here but he is no longer in webbed so uh but he took, took his action so you kind of burned up some action economy there that's the point but i was hoping it'd last a little longer than that there we go Left are highly um, he's gonna toss a javelin at the uh guy that's uh who is this guy right here okay now that you do so that is a 21 to hit and oh, i'm dead huh i'm dead you're dead you hit me for 12 points i have 14 you hit me for 11 points why do you have 14 What are, I mean, did you do your third level? Oh, no, I have 20. I have 20. I, I was like, okay, hang on, hang on. <laughs> but I'm like, still dead. I'm still I'm dead. dead. You're unconscious. You're not dead. Well, uh, so that would have been 14 plus, so let me add six back. So that is eight. Now, now I'm minusing how many this time? Do you have what how many that? points left? I have eight left. Well, you take 11 of those. So you're unconscious. So what's the difference between the five and the 11? Uh, the five is normal size. The 11 is in ah, big end size. Cool. So concentration is obviously dropped. Mm -hmm. So there's no more web. I don't think I can. Oh, there we go. I don't know about the red cross over here. You're not dead. Well, we'll see. No, you'll be fine. Trust me. Okay. Who's going to come pick you up, apparently? I use a, a bonus action spell as a reaction. Dolph? Nope. No. You are up. Uh, the tax thought? Oh, uh, I guess I missed. Sorry. Um, so who's next to me right here? That would be... Uh, Hoot. That's Hoot. With yeah. tax on Hoot's back. Right, and the the uh, the ogre zombified ogre. Tax is tax. not on Hoot's backs. Tax. Got it. Right, oh, correct. Tax, oh, that's tax right. right here. Tax moved. Sorry. Um, 
I know you're not aware of this, Jay, but currently I am, every, anybody within 10 feet of me is getting uh, damage. So I'm gonna try and move around so I'm not within 10 feet of the hoot. Oh, thank you. That's very sweet of you. Right there, there you go. Um, what's Luckily, the don't, it's a large don't worry about reactions, by the way, because that thing has been turned. It can't take reactions. Yeah. Oh, so, so I shouldn't attack it right now. Well, you can atta attack yeah. away and then move more than 10 feet away when you're uh, damage thing procs. Yep. Okay, well, then I'm going to attack with my greatsword. Mm -hmm. If it ends its turn there, it takes more fire damage. Um, so if it doesn't move, it, it, can't move, it can't help it. It's got to stay there. It's so going to take radiant damage. Means Samathon, how do you want to do this? Yay! Uh, so Samathon kind of screams out, yells, kind of takes the the great sword, slashes it through, bisecting the creature, and you see as they slash through the center, it's charred in places uh, from there. And so I started out here, so I'm not gonna actually, that first move because you said that I wasn't, when I mean, you said, oh, he doesn't have reaction, so I would have known. So I'm gonna use just my, my 20 feet of movement to get to here. Would that, am I too close to Danowick? Is he in my 10 foot radius? He is just out he of is. it. No, he's in it. Okay, then I'll do here. Is there that, you go. That, can I now he's out of it. Now he's out of it. Yeah. Cool, and that dwarf takes two points of radiant damage. Well, that's just rude. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, he, he takes two points of radiant damage, and now that you're up close to him and you can see him, even though he's large, he's a big, big dwarf, you can tell that uh, he looks pretty fucked up, like for real. He has, he is barely hanging on, man. He is, uh, he, he's, he's cut, he's breathing hard. He's uh, uh, looking at you. You've just kind of wandered up to him. And he feels the, the staying of the, the rated energy. And he's like, ah, ah. those of you who, do you speak dwarf? Something? I do not. Now, those I of do. you who do hear him say, fuck is this little thing ah <laughs> <laughs> and uh he, he he does not um i forgot that the commons closes at seven on the weekends rather than eight uh-oh that's what did you need uh it's food uh but i some of my friends are going out for dinner later tonight so i'll just ask them if they're going through a drive through which they probably are just to pick me up something can I order you pizza? Uh, I actually can't get things delivered here, so not really. Oh, that's the worst. I'm sorry. That I mean, does... I can't, but it's just not easy to do uh, type thing. It's very, it's like you have to send them like a specific location in the parking. It, I've tried before and it doesn't work. Yeah. Can I lobby for a bio break before we start the next round? Absolutely uh quick on that um it is now seven i had to leave like i couldn't do this long because again kids and people dm how much longer do you think we're gonna be because i know we're just now getting into the meat and i see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven people on this board that are not my party yeah there there's um there's there's a few of them um however um uh, you yeah, you probably got another half hour 45 minutes probably depending on how okay. you do it let's take a fairly long ish bio break and then i can give you 30 more minutes of my time that, that works for me i don't mean to be an else? asshole about that i just mean no, we, were, we were shooting for a seven o'clock and you're you're right on yep i think i'll make me some ramen Okay. All right. So are we going to take a little breaky break? Yeah. 
All right. Okay. Blop right up to there. And please. Yep. Hey. Cool. 30 mm -hmm. minutes starting now, and I may have to leave a couple of times. Just all right. Yeah, that's, <clears throat> that's all, all right. right. Let's kill shit. Top of the turn order. Ready to go. Top of the turn order. Danowick. Nope. He, he did a I saving rolled, throw. I rolled, uh, I rolled the next two, but I rolled a death saving throw already, and I passed the first one. Okay. Oh. Well, that is one death. That is, uh, you are now one step further from death. Okay. Um, that's all you get to do, right? Yep. Rajaga. Rajaga. Where is that motherfucker? All right. How far is he from Danawick? You're just going to be called Danawick. Sorry. Deal with it. <laughs> About 25 feet away, it looks like. Okay. That's perfect. Uh, so with my movement, I will move next to Danawick. Uh -huh. With my action, Ooh. I will cast using my last spell slot, motherfucker. So uh, enjoy it. I will cast Cure Wounds on Danawick. Although for some reason it's not casting. Cast at what level? Uh, the only level I have. You get <laughs> eight points of healing, Danawick. Wow. And with, my, and with my bonus action, I will tell Hoot to knock this motherfucker down. So on Hoot's turn, Hoot moves. He has 40 feet of movement, so that's enough to get to there. You, you might want to get him uh, one square up so he's not within the, uh, within the, uh, the okay. train from uh, Dolph. That's fair. But that only procs at the end of her turn, I think. Or their turn. I'm sorry. I, I want to get your pronouns correct. Uh, they use all of them. He, him, she, her, uh, they, them, it, it's. All right. Uh, so that'll be a 20 to hit. Yeah, that, for, um, that, that, will, that will definitely hit. For 11 slashing damage. Nice. How do you want to do this? Oh, because <laughs> knock him down to a rabbit. She gets bonus damage for having. She's going to do her bonus damage. We'll do the bonus damage. She gets bonus damage for having moved more than she 20. She kills feet. the dwarf and then eviscerates the corpse. Right. So that's 16 points of damage. Uh, yeah, she just she's just going to run and jump on top of it and like start like pulling its vital organs oh out yeah and it, it, them it, into is, her mouth. Uh, it is a gory festival of of uh you know attrition and yeah. uh yeah this this thing um as your tax going oh fascinating um, as it dies <laughs> it shrinks i think probably yeah why not and Broad will scream out in Dwarvish, no dwarf worth his beard would hide behind undead ogres, you fucking pussies. <laughs> uh, like, have you ever seen those, those uh, videos when somebody, like, like uh, somebody walks into a room and all the heads just kind of track over? <laughs> yeah, they, you have their attention. Good. Okay, is that uh, is that uh, is that where you're at? That's it for us. Okie dokie, Croesus. Uh, we're going to measure. Yes, easy. Um, we are going to twin cast chaos bolt onto this gentleman, and then this gentleman. All right, tell me which rolls which. So I'm going to do the first guy first. Uh, let's go to the character sheet. Go to Chaos Bolt. Front foot front. You mean and this one? Yes, the one that is south. Wow. Okay. Oh, uh, crit. Well, since you twinned it, <laughs> it makes that a little bit easier when you rolled twice. It yeah. does make that easier. Um, so, um, so, all right, let me look at the uh, die. Choose what damage plus, I want. Okay, hold on. Sure. 
that does uh, chaotic energy, which you got a three plus a one on, so that's four. And then the I think it's twenty it'll be, total. It'll be acid damage. Is it twenty total? Well, it's eight. No, it's two D. It's two D eight, which is a three plus a one. And then the eight is the one D six normal damage plus the crit die, which I believe is a one D six. Well, give me the give me the number, sir. Uh, so eight plus four is 12 plus three is 15 plus five is 20. How do you want to do this? Um, it will acid damage. damage. So <laughs> just, it's going to melt <laughs> a bolt of, uh, chaos just turns into acid at the last possible moment and just liquefies the door. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> yeah. melting and literally shrinks down to, uh, to his former embiggened size. Yep. And then the uh, next one, I guess is a 22. Mm-hmm. And let's see, that is, uh, we're going to make that poison damage with the six that I rolled, and that'll be uh, 13 poison damage. Uh, oh, okay. Well. Um, how much poison damage? 13. Okay. And then what's the other? Uh, it's just going to be, that's it. So it's a total it's 13. A 13. Yep. So, uh, you, you really feel like you, you rocked off a, a, a good, a good poison bolt. You see it hit and, uh, he just kind of looks down at the poison kind of laughs and oh, looks well. back up at you it was either that or cold but i figured cold wasn't gonna do much either so um, oh, no, he's, um he's he's totally amused uh good. by uh, by by what you're doing there well good just, either way uh, just doesn't doesn't seem like it really like you it just yeah, didn't do as much as it as, as I would have didn't hoped. Do as much as you thought it would. Yeah, it definitely didn't liquefy my. Uh, no, my no, no, not like the acid. The acid uh, that did a that did a number. All uh, right, that was great. Um, I'm then going to continue to be behind people. Um, that was always and- a good strategy. I am going to drop concentration on my uh, bonfire. Fucking so that will disappear. Uh, and that will uh, end my turn. All righty, Assistant Sun Sayer, you are on the move. All right, I'm going to uh, move up to my friend Danowick because I am concerned to have seen him drop. And then I'm also going to uh, cast on this guy. Which one? Uh, I'm gonna ping him again, this one. Okay. And it will be a guiding bolt again. I can barely hear you. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm talking softly, guiding bolt. Guiding bolt? Yeah, it's a hit, so I will. Oh, 12. So um, your, your guiding bolt uh, kind of just misses. Actually misses by quite a lot. Yeah. Kind of goes, goes right past him. And he just kind of looks at you like, what? What? Uh, what? What are you doing over there? But now that he's uh, noticed that you are a, a, a spellcaster, he'll he'll get back to you later. <laughs> uh, yeah, and so uh, I will just since that was a spell, and I have only bonus action spells, I will just be in guard position with um, Danowick and actually. I would go in front of him. Uh, 
Okie dokie. So, uh, so this guy kind of looks around and uh, tired of, of uh, having, tired of, of being the, uh, the smallest kid on the block. He, he kind of ooh, ah, hulks out and um, let's see. Huh? Walking out. Huh? Huh? And uh, he runs up to here. Uh, the, he, he, see, he sees the uh, ferocious beast gnawing on the remains of his friends. And uh, did he step on his friend? No, no, but he he does uh, <laughs> he does toss a javelin at Dolph. Well, that would make sense. Dolph is lit up like a Christmas tree. Mm-hmm. And that is uh, well, that's um, it, it, these guys are really bad with javelins. Evidently, they all have them, but they just are not uh great with them. And he's like, they're not having oh. a good day. And you, 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 those of you that speak dwarvish him say well fuck <laughs> doesn't hit it does yeah, it not hit. yeah cool cool, cool and cool. then uh tax that's uh, uh that's you i will say we just want the lamp and you need to adjust when you throw for the wind speed <laughs> are you yelling are you yelling that to anyone in particular uh i'm yelling it to everyone <laughs> you know I mean, they all keep missing so yeah make, everyone make you know what make an intimidation jack i'll i'll give you intimidation <laughs> exactly all keep missing <laughs> intimidate with intelligence i like this Oh, am I doing it with? Yeah. My oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I want to. I want an intimidation check. I, I want to see if. Uh, if okay, so this to... is with my charisma, which is a negative one. But if we do it with my intelligence, that is a plus. Yeah. Uh, no, your your voice. So your words are loud, and and proud and forceful. But you're also very small. I mean, this is true. And are you um, yelling that in Dwarvish or in Common? Oh, I'm yelling that in Dwarvish. I have I have switched. I mean, they 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 they're kind of like the fuck. The, the the guy that's lost his javelin, like he pulls out a like a giant, like a pickaxe sort of thing, and he mm -hmm. kind of nods at you. All right. Well, uh, the one who picks up the pickaxe is that the one that's kind of in front that just went big, or is that a this different one? one? This this guy. Yeah, that's the guy who just went big in front. This yeah. guy right here. Yep. Uh, firebolt to the face if I can. Do it. Nice. Uh, ooh. How do you want to do this? Uh, as he like, I want it directly like bullseye, and as he goes down. Um, I will say, is there another negotiator here <laughs> in Dwarven? Well, um, uh, no, no, no one else seems to 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 pay attention to you. But uh... <laughs> uh, and then I like look at Broad and I give him a big thumbs up. I'm like, yeah, I'm learning. <laughs> You want me to negotiate? I'll negotiate the fuck out of this shit. Oh, I'm I'm having the time of my life. I'm like I'm offering. They're saying no. I return and like like this is a back and forth. All right. Is that all? Is that all you got? Um. If Dalen uh, looks like he is alive again. Um, Holler is just going to again get just a little bit closer so he could dive down and help anyone who needs it. Okay. Okay. <sighs> okay. Well, 
this guy is going to move over to here and he is going to take a swing with his war pick at Hoot. And um, wow. Wow. That's, um, I guess Hoot's too busy, like num numbing. Kind of like num num num. Yeah, nothing, nothing happens there. Yeah. Yep, this one's gonna get right here and toss a javelin at um, Dolph. And is that a is that is that fourteen gonna do any good? Uh, it will, but it will also do some bad because they take one d six force damage, five points of force damage. Whoever nice. threw it, nice, nice. That was a good one d six. All right, so uh, you you do if that hits you, you do take thirteen points of the damage of the piercings but that's so half, half of that yeah you know however you take your damage is that's that's <laughs> up to you mm. so half of 13 would be six yep. that is correct thank you and um Come here, baby this guy's gonna step up here and um, one, two, three, four, five, so, 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 so. This guy's going to um, going to run up here, and he's going to toss a, a javelin at Brad Yaga. Toss it at me, bitch! All right? Oh, yeah, the, yeah, that hits. And it'll hit five points of, uh, of, of, of piercing damage. Bradyaga laughs. As, as expected. And says, ah, I see you've decided to pay half up front. Okay, well, these guys uh, come come bouncing out, and then uh, they get a little closer. They're feeling the the closeness, love, and then um, you guys hear a uh, a a a a groaning sound from the doors as they um I wonder if I'm doing this right now as they oh, nice. slam shut Oof. that's a cool effect that is a cool effect that effect sucked <laughs> Um, when I, uh, breathe fire into the, uh, little turret there, I forgot to, uh, share a photo of, uh, what that might have looked like with fire in the darkness. Uh, ooh, 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 shiny. I want to see the shiny. It's in the D&D uh, chat. I'm looking. Okay. Oh, that is shiny. <laughs> And uh, Dolph, you are you are up. Quite yeeted, my dude. So I have quite a bit of stuff around me. Nice, mm -hmm. nice, nice. It's a so target gonna, environment. Yeah, I'm going to make sure I'm not around people who could get hurt by my stuff. So I'm going to move to here. Actually, I'm going to move to here here because i can get both of those creatures oh, oh i yeah. also get hoot i'm gonna move to there that way i can get better. three <laughs> um, uh you get four. get four yeah you'll get yes. four. Oh, actually i don't think i can because then if i move to there it, no. the other guy gets out of it no the where no, you were no, square where you were right still gets four of them yeah you'll you'll get four there you're, you're that sounds 
Great. I'm going to attack the one that I'm right next to. This one? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. 18 to hit. Um, that would be, so that's 15 plus three, 18 points of damage. Uh, 15 of which is slashing, three of which is radiant damage. Um, and then anything within 10 feet of me gets an additional two points of radiant damage. Do you have any movement left? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> you just move north a little bit. <laughs> Okay, um, <laughs> Dolph, uh, since uh, the murder spree seems to be your thing, mm -hmm. how do you want to do, do this? I want, for this one, so I'm guessing I killed that one. You killed the one that many, you swung on, yep. I don't know how many hit points he had, but I think, think it would be really funny if you see me, like, slash through... And then I like let out another burst of radiant energy, and that's actually what kills him. And he like just looks like a charred sunburn as he like falls. That the 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 additional the uh, the radiant energy is indeed what what was uh, what was the fatal blow? You proc and uh, proc and drop. Them. Yep. Yep. And then I need to take my one point of damage, um, and that's the end of my turn. Beautiful. All righty. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He gets a little, he gets a little taste of that too. Beautiful. Okay. Is that, uh, is that your turn? Yeah. Yeah. What was that noise? <laughs> Put noodles in my mouth. Okay. So that that would uh, that would be it. Yes, that is my turn. All righty, Dalen. Dalen uh, grabs onto Brajaga's arm and kind of to stand up, giving him a quick nod of thanks. Pulls out a uh, uh, a bag of uh, from his pouch and and casts a spell. <laughs> so, Hersel spell of induced somnolescence, otherwise known as sleep. Hits right where that little X is. And so anybody within 20 feet, starting with the lowest set of hit points. Oh, that X. Yeah. Got it. Uh, will fall asleep up to 17 hit points. Up to 17? Yeah, uh, up to 17. So like at that closest, whoever's got the lowest will fall first. So let's say that bottom right one has three. So, uh, drop yeah. so this guy, uh, th this, this guy, uh, Come on, do we not have some Z's? I need some Z's. <laughs> there we go. This this guy slumps down um, out of there. Uh, but no one else seems to be affected. All right. Uh, I'm going to do some movement. Yeah, move the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. Glass cannon. I'm going to move back over here. So, wait. He moved out of my reach. I got an opportunity attack, right? That's right. Yes, absolutely, you do. <laughs> I don't take it. <laughs> it's but nice to, it. know, I, yeah, it's yeah. Nice to I, know I had the opportunity. Yes. Yeah. I'm all about giving opportunities. Right, right. Is that, uh, is that your turn, Dalen? That's my turn, yeah. Brad Yaga. All right, so this guy is asleep? Yeah. He is, like, stone cold out of there. All right. Then I am going to... Hmm, would Inbigin go away due to the sleeps? It's not concentration. No, uh, then it, it probably not. not. Yeah, yeah, probably not. All right. I am going to shoot this guy. That guy? So... This guy, the non-asleep guy. So Dalen, looking into the realm of possibility, sees Brad Yaga, who's just saved him, just be super successful, and his role is a 19. Nice. Oh, okay. So I rolled a 19 to hit that guy. <laughs> uh, Plus numbers, I would assume. Well, I mean, I'm sure I hit. It you are really... absolutely certain that you hit. You should also, I mean, I'm just, you know, you don't have to. 
you should probably use your bonus action to take a uh, hunter's mark off the ogre zombie. I I'm not because I want to use my bonus action to tell who to do shit. Ah, uh, well, but then, uh, but I have thought of that. Believe me, I I am considering my bonus action. Right, uh, right. I got it. Okay, I mean, so I mean, I'm I'd, probably I'd, going to do more than one d six worth of damage. So I do d eight plus four with my normal uh, shooting attack, which I assume the nineteen lets me hit. The the nineteen absolutely does. Uh, so I do seven points of damage, and I have told Hoot to hold on. Let me see where he is in relation to that guy. He's only 15 feet away. So I've told Hoot to back up and charge uh, <laughs> because Hoot wants to do maximum awesomeness. Do maximum uh, awesomeness. Do it. So that's my bonus action. Hoot will maul that guy. Ooh, 11 mm. hits. Yeah, the, you know, as, as you yell out or as you give the command, Hoot lunges in and, and he drops his shield down. Punk! Yeah. He, uh, he, he uh, prevents the Hoot assault. Well, that sucks. But that's life. Uh, that's it for us this round. Actually, I will uh, I'll move back a little bit to here with my mm-hmm. movement. I mean, I'm an archer. There's no reason for me to be super vulnerable. Okay. But I'm, otherwise, I'm done. All righty. Croesus. Siston, you are on deck after Croesus. This is going to move there. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, he's going to uh, kind of like point to the dwarf that was just shot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then he's going to kind of say, May you feel the icy grip of the shadows and uh, cast chill touch. Chill touch. Oh, miss it. Unless an eight hits somehow. Negative. It it will not. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right. Well. Yeah. Um yeah, he's he's like I was born in darkness and <laughs> your chill touch does not impress me, boy. You get four of those a night, you're at six. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, all righty, right. what else you got? Uh, that will be that. Uh, I will end my turn there. Fantastic. Sistin. Sistin is looking around her and feeling like there needs to be some unweaving done. So she uh, and, and is concerned about uh, Dolph in the middle of all of this. So she's going to target. Um, oh, wow, that is not targeting where I Okay. Oh, it's because I don't have a selection tool. This guy. Uh huh. And all of these guys have taken damage, correct? Uh, these. This one has not. Okay. This one has, and this one has, and this one is uh is snoozling. Snoozling. So I I am going to maintain the the one that's kind of farther away, um, but that- has taken damage. This is going to you know, just hit her shield, uh, hit their shield, and you're going to hear this really weird sound come through again, and the, the party has heard it before, but it just makes you want to kind of crawl out of your skin a little bit. And, uh, and so uh, seven necrotic damage if you fail the DC wisdom. Uh, that is a wisdom saying, correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, cave dwarf, not smart, not have wisdom. They're Aha! Like, they're yeah. like Edith Bunker, really smart. Not really. Wise. I mean, uh, you, you know, you you get the feeling that these guys might not be smart enough to to be afraid of it, but uh, 
that uh, that necrotic damage kind of crawls up his skin as he kind of flinches at the sound of the bell. And in the background, you hear, for whom the bell tolls, time marches on. No? And, uh, and the sister backs up to her friend. Um, and since casting a cantrip can do a bonus action healing word to. Mm, okay. Whoa, really? Nice. Mm-hmm. I'm back up to full. Yeah, that's what, y'all that two was, guys did great. That, that was, was a, some nice roll. That was a, that was a good roll. <laughs> that was a very good roll. Oh, good, so good. <laughs> You're feeling better now. Feeling better now, huh? Feeling better. I am feeling better now. Okay. Wow. Well, uh, that's good. So a thing happens. Is the J silent in Broik and uh, Bell attacks. Um, it's time to attacks. I will. So, like, pretty much every time before I send off a firebolt, I'm going to be like, "Are you sure you won't just give us the lamp? We will go." <laughs> yeah. Un- unfortunately, you, you you're you're now dealing with a a group of of uh you know under dark dwelling murder hobos and uh yeah. yeah they don't they don't they're not very interested in what you have to say they also right. just realized that the doors doors are closed yeah are closed <laughs> <laughs> i was wondering if they would realize that yeah they're kind of like <laughs> the fuck uh so this one right here this one right here yep yep yeah, yeah. to the face to the face. All right. Firebolt to the face. Um, That's not going to hit him. Nah, not so much. Yeah. It, 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 like, it, can we say narratively causing no damage? It, like, gives him a mohawk. Well, it, <laughs> more, like, more like it singes his big beard. These guys are all bald. They have oh. no hair on top of their heads. But it does singe his beard, and he just kind of looks down and, like, you actually see him make a sad face. What if it's like just a hole in his beard? Like, I mean, I mean, it's just a I hole mean, in his beard now. I've been growing beard? his beard for like 20 years. The, f- the beards that they don't deserve right. because right. they hide behind ogre undead. Okay, so guys, it is now eight o'clock. I cannot hang out anymore. Um, but feel free to roll. That's going to be my MO until we get past this. Try to negotiate fireball. Try to negotiate <laughs> fireball. I'm just going to use tax as a improvised weapon for the rest of this encounter. <laughs> Lisa's like, um, we're really and, be friends, if, fireball. <laughs> if needed, uh, I have one more uh, spell slot and uh, holler. Like I've been saving it very specifically. Holler can cast heroism. Um, can like go down and touch someone, um, and can cast heroism, and that gives three temp hemp points, and um, is imbued with baver- bravery. Bravery. Alrighty. So those are the. That, those are my planned actions. I must go. I adore all of you. Um, but I, we're, we're, I'm, I'm an hour past what I promised. Do your thing. Right. Bye guys. Get it. Family first. Just here's the thing. Keep your mic active because I want to hear about the pastries. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Pictures. Uh, I'm about yeah. to make the dough, but then we're about to make the apple pie filling as we're tasting 13 types of apples. Ooh, like, that's fine. No, keep the mic active. <laughs> right? It's fine if you leave, but I want to hear all of this shit. <laughs> Dolph. Okay. When does the damage happen from your radiance? Um, at the end of my turn. The end of your turn. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, this guy, 
is uh, he's going to swing his okay. war pick. War pick? War pick. He's going to swing his war pick at the Hoots, and uh, he's going to connect with uh, 15 points of, of piercing damage. Oh, no. From the war pick. Oh. Oh, no, that's not okay. Which one's that's... this guy? Is it this guy? This guy. Okay. Yep. Uh, that's he's not do... okay at all. Right? This guy is going to step in, and uh, this guy is going to step in, and they are both going to swing mighty picks at the at the glowy death monster thingy in their presence so good lord so doing a total of 20 points of piercing damage that you will laugh at and reduce by half <laughs> Ten. uh so the first one who hit me takes four points of uh of uh force damage and i'm pretty sure the second one does but i'm gonna reread the thing okay okay um wild surge till your rage ends you're surrounded by nope that's the wrong one whenever whenever a creature hits you so that's just yeah. all the time yeah you just you just deal out four points of, of okay. retribution for the first one and two points for the second one okay um yeah that, and... i mean they both uh they're both like uh... I took 10 points of damage. You did. Okay. I am now bloodied. Okay. Um, cool. I mean, if it's any consolation, the large creatures around you all look pretty bloody too. Yeah. I I, I could I could imagine, yeah. Um yeah. In fact, if if you had to if you had to just you know put uh, this one, but this one to the south of you, mm -hmm. definitely looks worse. Got it. Definitely. Which of them is it? My turn now. Uh, it is your turn. Which of them looks the least bloodied? Um, uh, this guy. He looks the least bloodied now. You know that this person, this one right here, is asleep. Mm -hmm. He does look pretty, pretty jacked up, but he is asleep. And uh, you're pretty sure that uh, burning someone will wake them up. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take the opportunity to check and move to here. Um. So you can go ahead and do that if, if the guy wants to, to take an opportunity to attack. Yeah, he's, or, he's totally or did gonna... I did I leave his range? Because the other one attacked me because I had two things attack me. Or did I kill one of the things that attacked me? Oh, you might need to move to here. To yeah. I, beat from the one you know down. what? I didn't move one down far enough. Got it. That's what this I thought. This one should actually I... be here. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Yes. Um, so I can move to here and still be within all the ranges and not that is uh, correct. Upset that will one. not trigger any any nastiness where you are. And I'm going to attack this one. An the alley one that's least damaged. Yeah, you do and that. Looking into the multiverse and the possibilities, I see her or see yeah her uh, take a mighty swing and actually roll a twenty against that thing. She rolls a crit. Uh, a nat twenty. It's a 20. That's it's a 20. Uh, nice. so I, I turned on force critical hits on, on this. And so um, I forced a critical hit. So that's 12 plus seven. How do you, how, you, how do you, how do you want to do this? I <laughs> just want to like, <laughs> the blade looks like a sun for a second. And as I like carve through, <laughs> it carterizes the wounds around it. And we just full on have a lightsaber moment. Nice. <laughs> yeah, doesn't even have time to scream. Just falls dead at your feet and the embiggening wears off. And um, you are quite the little murder machine. 
Uh, the one south of me takes two points of damage. But I mean, why? Why would? They? <laughs> why not? <laughs> You're just and that is the end of my turn. Candy. Man, I really love this passive aura thing going on. Yeah. Like, this oh, is yeah, that's great. Right. So, yeah. that's awesome, so Robert, bro. just so awesome. you're aware, it also does damage to her, but while she's raging, it halves, so it's only one to her, but she's taking one damage from herself every round as well. So sure. rage doesn't actually keeps the rage, have it. So oh. rage, yeah, yeah, it keeps the rage, which is great. Yeah. Rage doesn't actually have it. It's because I'm resistant to Oh, that's right, damage. that's right, that's right. <laughs> it's because I'm resistant to the damage I'm dealing out. <laughs> that's that's hilarious that's, that's love it. that is awesome i love every bit about it uh is that your turn it is okay dolph the murder hobo has once again murder hoboed dalen you are up you see now you you look across the battlefield you see um one snoozling uh one snoozling Durgar, and then you see two others. They both appear to be about as equally as hurt. Um, one of them just uh, kind of smashed down on Hoot. Yeah, and, and and did some pretty significant, some pretty significant uh, hootage. Reaching so. out with my hand, I encant, and three arcane bolts fly across the roll yeah that's that's 15 points of damage on that one this one right here yep how do you want to do it did bad by him yeah 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 exactly <laughs> all right how do you want to do it man it just there's just they they one right after the other shoo, 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 and they just right through his skull and he just falls flat like cut strings on a puppet yep just the Embiggening. I like off. the uh, what's his name is whistle arrow thing from oh, Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I look back over Broad Yaga and just kind of give a nod, like <laughs> then bullshit on that. <laughs> <laughs> I nod back in appreciation. Right, right. You're no longer gonna die in the middle of the night tonight. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Is that your turn, Dylan? That is that is. I'm happy sitting that there. Is a, gonna... That is a that is, that was a, that was a good good turn there. All right, Rajaga. I will use my bonus action to move Hunter's Mark to this fucker. Uh huh. Uh huh. And this then one? I will shoot him. This one. This guy that right that here. That guy right there. That motherfucker that is right getting an arrow in his dick. Get, get, get delivered to him. Wow. Oh, how about a 27 to hit? <laughs> yeah, that definitely hits. Don't hit the, the owlbear. Maybe owlbear, you make everybody mad. All right. Uh, that's, so that's 12 points of damage to that fucker. Mm hmm. Come on, uh, throw that throw that D6 on top of it. Oh, good. yeah. Make it Thank good. Thank you. Almost forgot that D6. Four more oh, points yeah. How added. do you want to do this? <laughs> you already said, through the dick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I yeah. shoot that dude in the <laughs> dick. And he... Uh, he like reaches down and grabs his dick and is like, oh, this is more serious than I thought. It just crumples into a <laughs> um, like, dead <laughs> dwarf. Yeah, the, you those of you that speak dwarf just oddly hear him say, Oh no, not again. And then he oh. no. <laughs> uh and since I use my bonus action to transfer Hunter's mark. Uh, I will. Uh, I will. I can't. I can't use a bonus action to command Hoot, which means Hoot is just dodging this round. That is that is the default Hoot action. That is a that is a a default Hoot. Um, well, uh, with that little move, you look around you and. You're not really sure now what's behind the doors. If uh, what 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 could be happening behind those doors? 
But what you do know is uh, the only living enemy uh, near you is asleep. Um, I, I mean, I would just assume there's six of us around. Like, we could just kill that guy. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah. it's... In general, I think if a creature is asleep and you know its anatomy, you can kill it automatically. You, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. there's so many of us present that it doesn't present a threat. Uh, did we want to uh, it's, it's keep not prisoner to ask what's behind the door, or did we just want to be done yeah, with do it? Do we want to tie him up, whatever, and then question him? Uh, I mean, assuming you didn't just murder him. Well, because technically it'll be my turn, so Krosis is actually asking, since we sort of have time. Okay. Do we want to keep a prisoner and interrogate prisoner, or do we just want to open the doors ourselves and figure it out? I mean, what are we doing here anyway? We're after the lamp, the light, right? Well, we? those of you, Broad, those of you and, and Croesus, um, especially, uh, Broad, while you heard what Dana would yelled out about, about Deergar, you are all keenly aware that the appearance of Durgar that um, can embiggen and can, you know, apparently go invisible. Uh, you haven't seen one do that, despite what uh, Dalen told you. Um, the, the fact that they have gone so far as to, you know, build an outpost here is... Uh, is is a little it, it it's uh very concerning i want to look at all the dwergar we have killed and try to discern which one is the highest ranking dwergar we have killed um that would be Shit, where'd he go? Uh, that, no. You guys have murdered your way through so many. Mm -hmm. uh, that guy, this guy, this one right here. All right. I want to take his head from his body. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so before we go any further, what are you going to do with the guy that's sleeping? I, we're just going to kill him. Yep. That's fine. I, if we don't care about prisoners. Nah. I, I don't think, I mean, mechanically, if you want us to roll through this, we can. No, I no, think, there, there's no, there's no reason mechanically to do it. I'm just saying, right. if you want to keep him alive or if you want to kill him, that's really the only question. But I want to take the highest ranking guy that we uh -huh. can find. That would be this one right here. I want to sever his head. Alrighty. And my thought is that we kick open these doors, roll his head down the chamber, and be like, all right, who the fuck wants to parley? All righty. However, I will allow other options. Well, I, I have um I, I have a I have a suggestion since we've gone way over that uh, since we're at a at That's a break point. yeah that yeah. Uh, that we pause right here um, you survey the uh, death and destruction that you have caused around you and uh, take a little take a little pause we'll actually yeah. drop out of combat okay let's fair. All right. No, um, but yeah, I think yeah. we take the highest striking head we can find and be like, all right, who wants to talk now? Well, the other thing is, is, uh, I'm doing this wrong. 
I don't know that we can kick those doors open. It might be interesting to see if we can actually even get those doors open. What are they made out of? Are they flammable? They are not. <laughs> when we uh, drop out of combat, Dolph will release the rage and also um, stop burning. Uh, and kind of just will like... <sighs> There we go. <laughs> um, you, you can tell Croesus doesn't quite know what to make of someone who seems to have an intimate relationship with light as uh, Croesus has shown an affinity towards the darkness. All right. All right, nice. we're going to call it here and do maybe some chat stuff over the week or whatnot. Actually, are we? when is the next game? Aren't we already saying we can't play? Oh, we can't play next Friday. This crew cannot play next weekend at all. Right. We have family in town. It's us. It is me. It me. <laughs> God, are you the problem, Don? I apparently am the problem. <laughs> um so we cool. have this weekend the next weekend is prior to thanksgiving so 1920 but i think joe said he's out 1920 right i am correct all right so this will probably uh, be either and there are people traveling for thanksgiving i am but i'm still okay to play and the oh. 20th the 20th is my birthday oh well we can't play that weekend anyway no we can no i think joe can't yeah, I, I will not be able to play on the 20th. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm going to expect the hand of Vecna as a birthday present. <laughs> yeah, you hand. might get the fist of Vecna. <laughs> <laughs> At least the finger. Yeah, but he has a birthday this week. Yeah. And you're like, um, where's the fist going to appear? Where it's do you mom. <laughs> mom turns 51 yep. in three days. Miranda turned 16 in four days. Awesome. Right on. Dad I, turns 70 something in five days. <laughs> I will be 45 in 14 days. Mm -hmm. So um, I think we probably could play sometime of the weekend after Thanksgiving. I don't think we're going to be traveling because unless you want to go down and visit Art and Jane. Yeah, we haven't figured that out, but we're, we're probably yeah. okay. Well, Joe, are you heading east for uh, Thanksgiving? I don't know yet. Okay, well, let's keep that one. Um, I just, uh, it, I, I will, I will keep it open. But, uh, yeah. but I have, you know, uh, I, I, I am ninety percent sure that we are going to East Texas. I don't know for how long. Okay. Um. So. Uh, we also have Dylan this Thanksgiving. Oh, cool. So I'm I'm gonna say Thanksgiving is probably a big old fat no for me. Okay, that works. Cool. Okay, I mean, I'm available whenever y'all need me. Sounds good. Whenever y'all want someone to shoot people with arrows, <laughs> I will be here. Um, right on. All right, I'm gonna go check on Mem. I'm gonna hang up this call. Y'all have a lovely evening. Thank right you. Right on, guys. Thank you spotted. very much. No, no this was yeah. great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That actually went really well. Yeah, love to you all. Yeah, to those. I, I, I was like, okay, is this too many Jurgar? And as it turns out, no, it's just the right number. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I didn't like no. get hit by a javelin, but I think it, it actually overall went really well. Yeah, <laughs> that's I mean, right. Also, but, uh, you owe me. I do, Don. I owe you one dead Dwargar shot through the head, attacking your. Uh, 